to the unemployment line in Florida is dangerous as it is long. Good thing I'm in South Africa. Good thing I'm in South Africa. What if I just didn't what what if what if we what if we just stayed on this screen for the next like four hours? How long would you stay here? <laughs> we just stayed on the zeros. How long would you would you be here? Four hours. Alright, yeah, it works. Good. One second. Oh, I better I better hurry then. Oh, we better uh just it's just a podcast. It'd be a podcast. That that would be I mean that's essentially what every podcast is. Oh how are you guys doing? Did I oversleep? No, actually. I woke up at exactly the same time I woke up yesterday. I took longer to get out of bed. That was what happened. I took longer to get out of bed today. Sam, thank you so much for the 36 months of my A plus in math. I make that seven years. Close enough, but you do have Z bacon. So I can't really, uh, you know, you've already been at it a while. Sam, thank you so much for the three months. Bush, thank you for the four. Swan, thank you for the tier one, my dude. Press, thank you for the two months. I am D1 and only. Thank you for the 10 months. Thank you guys for supporting the stream. Adix, thank you so much for the prime. Scotty, thank you for the 24 months. Will I resign from Ghana? I don't know. What do you guys think I do? What, what do you guys think I should do? Should we stay with Ghana? See if we can win like an AFCON or something? Or do we not? I mean, well, look, 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 we're going to get a club job, okay? We're going to get a club job, all right? We know that. We're going to get a club job. It's not like I'm just going to stay at Ghana and not get a club job. We have our applications out. We're going to get a club job. But we, we've got a good division between resign, stay with the club right now in the chat. Uh, that's interesting. They trusted you. Hey, I got them to the round that they expected to get to. I got them to the round that they, I got them to a round. I, I, I got them to the round they expected to get to because they expected to get to the second round. Now, obviously us not being able to hang on to that lead that we had yesterday against Austria was incredibly painful. Um, losing to Brazil, I don't find to be, you know, super insane that we lost to Brazil, but yeah, it was not the best tournament, especially considering I feel like we could have made it, <laughs> we could have made a serious run with the way that the, like, with, with the way that it had been set up. I feel like we could have made a serious run. It was all, it was, I think we can acknowledge that the world cup was rigged against us. It was. I mean, how could we not end up with that takeaway? I guess we have a poll up. There we go. We have a poll up. Should I resign or should I stay at Ghana? I think the, uh, there is a good, I, you know, I, I, I'll throw my vote in. I think there's a good argument for like, how would I manage AFCON? How would I manage AFCON if I'm also managing a club? Do I, I just, I'm flying back and forth. Let's get a South American or European job. No, I mean, managing in the, managing realistically. Zoom. That's it, though. That's, like, legitimately the answer. You get me one of those, like, uh, it, it, the computer monitors on the, like, robot. 
and I'm on the touchline wheeling around with like a controller, like a video game controller. Ref! Ref! Just like wheeling back and forth. That would work. The thing is, which one gets the real me and which one gets the computer? VTuber manager. IRL VTubing. So in. Yogi, thank you for the three months, dude. Sham, thank you for the prime. Thank you for supporting the stream. Who says no? Not me. It's not me. But 80% of you just voted for me to resign. So, friend, thank you for the three months. 80% of you just voted for me to resign from managing Ghana. After that. I know. Did Zealand's room shrink? I hope not. There isn't a lot of seismic activity in Florida, but every once in a while, you know, a little earthquake. I think there was like one earthquake here when I was growing up. Just kidding. I'm not in Florida. Did I just dox myself? I'm in Florida. No. Just send them a .fmf file of my FM tactics and let them figure it out. That might work. I'm actually curious. I feel like in football manager, uh, <laughs> I feel like in football manager, you'd totally be able to manage AFCON and, and a club at the same time. How could I abandon Ziggy? All I know is that if Ghana, all I know is that if Ghana had won that game, like if we had managed to beat Austria in the 10 penalty shootout that we ended up in after they scored a 94th minute equalizer, after Zigi did drop the ball because of how many saves Zigi had made in that shootout, uh, I absolutely, absolutely would have sainted Zigi. I don't think that's unfair at all. Flop, thank you for the two months. Zenix, thank you for the prime, but he couldn't make the final save. He couldn't make the final save. Thank you. We've already spent so much of Jeff Bezos' money. I appreciate it, guys. <laughs> I don't feel like doing the math, but we've spent a lot. Bassy, thank you for the nine months. Thanks for supporting the stream. Yes, Fishy, thank you for the 10 months. Joey, thank you for the 22 months. AZ missed a few streams. How come we left the Pirates? We want everything. We, we want everything. We won everything. That's why. The actual reason is we won the quintuple. We won five the, the, the five major trophies we were playing in last year with the Orlando Pirates. We are three-star reputation. We are legit. Neil, thank you so much for the prime. Thanks for spending $5 of Jeff Bezos money to support the stream. And that's why I was like, yo, are we interested in moving on? Probably. Shaw, thank you for the 21 months. So excited to catch the stream today. Last panda. I'm excited that you're excited. I'm excited that you're here. If Z goes anywhere but Europe, this pretty much becomes a Pentagon challenge. It's not, though, because I'm not going to be like, I have to stay here until I win the Champions League. We just happen to win the African Champions League and become one of the greatest African managers of all time. It's a true sentence, but it sounds weird. Winning the Champions League with an Irish club. I've tried. Um, in a journeyman I played in FM17, I managed Derry. I, we got to the group stage of the Champions League. That was it. And I, of course... Wasn't streaming that. So, Dima, thank you for the three months. Is every playable league loaded in this journeyman? Yes. Every playable league is loaded. Good hairline? Thank you. Looking nice and healthy. Looking voluptuous. The hour, the, the, the alleys, they're powerful, of course. I mean, we have to exude and exhibit power through the alleys. So, I'm okay with that. Um... We have, we have, how many job applications do we have out? One, two, three, four, five. We have six job applications out. Uh, two to Brazilian clubs, which we would be jumping right into the middle of a season if we did that. But who's no, who knows what tomfoolery we're going to get up to today? We started yesterday thinking we were applying to new jobs and ended up managing Ghana and the World Cup. So I have no idea what's going to happen today. 
Evergreen, thank you for the two months. Thanks for supporting the stream. Thanks for the distraction during work. You got it. You're working right now, I guess. Yeah. Working the rest of the week. It all depends on where you are, I suppose. That forehead has to has uh, play for set pieces turned on. I always have play for set pieces turned on. Okay. Also, anybody happen to be on uh, Twitter recently? X? Anybody at all? No? Okay. I don't know if this is just me. I, I I don't know if this is this is just me. But has anybody else been bombarded with a combination of Lord of the Rings and Moneyball recently? Like Moneyball memes about Lord of the Rings for like two days nonstop. Or is that like just me? Just you? Is that it? it Yes. Okay. So I'm not like the only one, Like they're very funny. I'm just trying to figure out. Okay. So most of it's just me. There is, there is a part of Twitter that has turned into just, it's literally money ball, like the movie money ball. So a few people said, yep, I'm not the only one here. It, it's just money ball memes about because there was like a viral tweet using a Moneyball get you know meme to describe Lord of the Rings, and then it just I, look. I don't know how to, I, I don't know how to explain this. Okay, I have no idea how to explain this. We're gonna try and not come off nerdy here, but let me let me see if I am not the only one. All right, I am not the only one. Okay, other people have been saying this. Okay, I am not the only one. It's literally nonstop. Watch, I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna open my home right now, and it will be there. I mean, it's just I mean, this is these are my bookmarks. I've bookmarked a few funny ones. If we try to play like Mordor in here, where we'll lose to Mordor out there. Correct. 100%. Okay, that's... But if I go to my homepage, I promise you... That, third one! Twitter is awesome because I don't know anyone in IRL who exists in the middle of the Moneyball and Lord of the Rings Venn diagram, but in here you have a bunch of people riffing on a joke I didn't even think could exist. Oh, this was the tweet. This was the viral tweet. Elrond putting together the Fellowship roster, and then it's just the Moneyball thing. And then, it, and then this guy. This is the other thing I'm getting. It's that guy, the destruction of the one ring, but make it money ball. And then they have, you know, like, I, I don't even know what, what's happening. I, I like, I, I feel again, again, how many is that? There's like 10 tweets. Three are Lord of the Rings and money ball. This has been my life for the last two days. Another one. I love Lord of the Rings, right? I think it's a great movie. You know, I I will I am I'm happy to sit down and watch the extended editions like once a year. But it's just like I want other information from Twitter outside of that. I think okay, I'm finally making it out. If I stop interacting with them, then I finally am going to make it out. But we literally hit three of the first. Ten. There we go. Still going. This joke is rapidly. Yeah, now it's people reacting to the fact that I am not the only one that is living in a Moneyball Lord of the Rings universe here. This is crazy. Okay. I don't know, dude. It's It's been a very bizarre two days. Finally made it to the Twitch channel from the YouTube. What's up, Screppy? 
Drunt, thank you so much for the 21 months. Zibikin, thank you for the 10. Thank you guys for supporting the stream. We are making moves. We've applied to six jobs. Uh, we are the coach of Ghana. Uh, how long was my contract with Ghana anyways? I have no idea. It doesn't even tell me. I guess it's just like until they decide that I'm not supposed to be there anymore. Hello. Hello. Ah, oh, breakfast. We have scrambled eggs, avocado, microgreens, walnuts. They can't. I don't know if they can hear you. Oh. Well. Would you like to describe breakfast today? We have scrambled eggs with hemp seed on it and lari. We have avocado, microgreens, walnuts, and peanut butter with a little organic honey. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. The, mu the music might have been a little too loud for that, but... Yeah, the music was a little too loud. Oh, well, they can skip. All right. You want to give it one more shot? Pop. <laughs> Again? Okay, so we have scrambled eggs with lorries and hemp seed. Right. We have avocado with microgreens. And we have walnuts, peanut butter with organic honey. And some water that won't spill. Water That's that won't Asia. spill. Very important. Very, yeah, very healthy. I eat very healthy when I'm home. She is a, a health chef of, of sorts. Natain, thank you so much for the prime. I appreciate you supporting the stream. That one's for mom, but. Oh, yeah. All right, yeah, so it's basically scrambled eggs with hemp seed, which I thought that was weed. But that's just like in rust, I guess. Um, peanut butter toast. Uh, some avocados. You know, some quality avocado. But in uh, So am I resigning from... <laughs> Wait. So am I resigning from Ghana? Durex, thank you so much for the five months, dude. Uh, yeah, I'm in the classic rock playlist today. Hope you guys can get behind that. Because if you can't, the train's coming through. They are actually paying me bank. Problem is, I don't know my schedule. I love Won't get better? You don't know that. We're going to get Eddie and Katya for the next cycle. Why did you not bring GQ, dude? I'm so, why was I not able to call these guys up? Patrick, P Peter Piper? We didn't call up Peter Piper. What are we doing? Adrisu Baba should be called up. <sighs> Shut up. Shut up. Why did they bring Jordan Ayu? I get it. He's, but he, he's 34. Come on. How is Jordan Ayu only 30 in real life? I don't believe that for a second. That dude's like 35 at least. We'll wait till after the World Cup, then we'll resign. We'll wait till after the World Cup, and then we'll resign. That seems to be when, like, you're supposed to resign. We'll wait till after the World Cup, and then we'll resign. All right. Well, we're going to get our first job offer from, uh, from Knock Breda. Is it just me or is Z screen more zoomed in than usual? Yeah, I zoomed it in a little bit. Do you like it? Does it, are you a fan? Does it do it for you? What, like, how, how's the Zoom? Is the Zoom all right? Is the Zoom all right? They broke, broke. Yeah, they're a little broke. And yet they are giving me nearly $200,000 to adjust coaching staff. Just saying. 
Oh yeah, that would be 136. So if we, if we wanted to get rid of him, that would be 136 instantly. A beast of bird. Oh, both these guys. Well, that'd be 151 right there. Okay. How you got a physio that's got 14, dude? A friend of mine is known for sweeping girls off their feet. He's an extremely aggressive janitor. <laughs> He's an extremely aggressive janitor? Goodness, great. Can he just pipe down? Seriously. These halls aren't going to clean themselves. That was good. That was an A minus. We're grading that dad joke at an A to F scale. That was an A minus. Puff Chatty, thank you for the 18 months. Excellent dad joke. Ocean Williams, thank you for the 28 months. Thank you so much for supporting the stream, my dude. Watching me eat hemp seeded um, eggs. No, I'm Sam. Dude, Mexico just beat Argentina. Japan, Japan beats Canada three to one. So they're cooking red card for Tejon Buchanan. Tejon Buchanan scored and then got sent off. England just thrashed Portugal with a couple. Well, I guess they scored in the 95th, 75th. It was a closer game than it looked. France beats Saudi Arabia four nil. The knockouts roll on without us. They roll on without us. Oh, dang it. We really, we really should still be in the World Cup. Have I gotten any offers from the Arabian Peninsula? No. And I'm not getting any offers from Palermo either. They have rejected my application. <sighs> No free pot, no free pasta. No free pasta for all Zealand. I'm going to delay. So we're delaying on June 27th. So this is my first delay. This is the Knock Breda offer. They do have a larger payroll budget uh, than, than we have right now. Pegasus, thank you for the five gifted oh, yeah. subs, dude. Thanks for making five people's days and supporting the channel with kindness. <gasps> Dance, Danny, Elite, J-Man, Caffeinated. Welcome to the Hammers. Enjoy the bacon. Enjoy the emotes. Make sure you get in the subsection of the Discord. And thank you for existing. Okay, so Nakbreda agreed to a delay. We didn't get the Palermo job, uh, which would have been sick. That means we have five applications left. Eintracht Frankfurt, FCSB, Vasco da Gama, and Gremio. You got to really... I believe that is the correct pronunciation. You ever talk to a Brazilian person? I know there's plenty of them here right now. Do you ever talk to a Brazilian person? Yes, no, love that. I have, believe it or not, I know, I'm worldly. Uh, have you ever heard them say the names of the teams in their league? I have no idea what team they're talking about. And if you're Brazilian, I don't know if you know this or not, but the way my brain looks at the names of the teams and reads them in my head and the way you guys say the actual name of, like, name of the team, if you ever talk to a Brazilian person about the clubs, and then they say the clubs, I have no idea what team they're talking about. No, like, no clue. I had a dude describe to me the league situation in Brazil for, like, 10 minutes. No idea which team he was talking about. It's a skill. It, it, is, it is a skill issue for me. I just have no idea. Chile just beat Spain. Wait, 
wrong button. Belgium knocked Colombia out on pens. Germany knocked Ukraine out on pens. Incredible. And Brazil did beat Sweden 2-0. So, oh, 96th minute. Bro, 96th minute. We're watching the goals. Both teams had at least 2.3 XG. This match was nuts. So that was the first goal in the 46th minute. That's crazy. Here comes Spain, 1-1. Here comes Spain with the 1-1. Hey, Pepe, thank you for the eight months. The Schurin. That's literally Chile. I can't read. So Chile takes a 2-1 lead. That makes it 2-2. No. It was on a th no, no. That's how you lose in the knockouts in the 96th minute. That is how you lose a throw in giveaway from Pedro Porro. Oh my. And then a beautiful goal by Nunez. Unai Simon, ah, maybe. And Spain is out. Absolutely mudded. Germany survives the round of 16 on pens. Belgium beats Colombia, and then, of course, Brazil, which means we have our last 16. No, we don't. There's one more match day. <laughs> Who is it? Ireland, Nigeria, Morocco, Norway, Switzerland, Croatia, Uruguay, Peru. Vamos. Vamos. Yeah, I just turned into a slideshow for a second. I think I just saw that. <laughs> Well, that's, uh, that's a save scum worthy goal if I've ever seen one. You get knocked out of the World Cup on that, dude. All right, I did not get the offer for a uh, ham, y'all. And I did not get the offer for Eintra Eintracht Frankfurt. We've been rejected, but Vasco da Gama said yes. That means we have Nach Breda, who have already made an offer to us, and we have Vasco da Gama. Will you quit Ghana if you get the job? No, you can technically manage both, but we might quit Ghana anyways. I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do. Offers for Olivier Verdun. I'm going to let whoever takes over as the new manager handle that. All right, Vasco, let's see what's up, dude. Josh Vonder, are you worried about not being able to speak the language? I'm confident I can learn it quickly. It's not hard. That's not true. Um, I like to think I get on well with other languages and can learn pretty quickly. Can you ease our concerns that you've never managed in Brazil? I would suggest my experience in international soccer more than make up for that. I managed at the World Cup, dude. I can figure this out. I've also never managed outside Africa. But, you know, I mean, is that really that big of a deal? I, come on. What do you call a group of men waiting in line for a haircut? A barbecue. Some good dad jokes today. There are some good dad jokes out there today. A barbecue. When did Zed get a house? Oh, I'm I'm like home for the holidays. <laughs> this is the home streaming setup. If you ever see me with just drapes in the background, it's the home streaming setup. But thank you, Tay, for the 32 months. Tafka, thank you for the 36 months. Jeter, thank you for the 44 months. B plus. Real solid dad joke. 
Moisey, thank you for the five buds. Thank you guys for supporting the stream. Uh, I'm prepared to resign and focus solely on my club commitments if it comes down to it. Holy. Uh, why have you felt it acceptable to apply for a number of jobs? Um, I don't think it matters. It's my decision. You're up for a few jobs right now. I'm exploring my options. What makes you the ideal candidate to save a club unexpectedly struggling against relegation, having been clear of trouble early this earlier this season? Well, I mean, you're only 14 matches in. Uh, I've got passion, fight, and spirit. I feel like we're going to need a better answer than that. Cooler heads will always prevail, and I know what it takes to avoid relegation. I'm almost offended that you even need to ask. <laughs> I'm a strong motivator and leader, Josh. I'm ready as soon as you need me. What sort of budget are you anticipating uh, needing? I'll do small budget. I'm happy with these proposals. Grow the club. Yeah, grow the club's reputation. Work within the payroll budget. Avoid relegation. Be competitive in the Copa de Brasil. If hired, we would expect you to secure survival and avoid relegation. Um, I think that's a fair target to aim for. A proposed transfer budget of over five million. Um, I think that's fine. Very large payroll. I've been happy to work with that payroll. Thirty-six million per year in payroll budget. All right, Vasco da Gama. They might be interested. We did not get the interview with uh, Remio. <laughs> uh, we did not get the interview with Eintracht Frankfurt or Palermo. Honestly, thought I was cooler than that. I thought Palermo would probably at least give me an interview. I'm a little offended. They will regret this. Eintracht Frankfurt was like the big swing. I uh, will not be attending some other match for Ghana, okay? I will be here. Wade Shenanos is available? What? Our old Colombian job is available? Oh, they are. Oh, my goodness. Shenanos FC is available. So is, and this is true, the Granada national team. I'm just saying. Look. I'm just saying. Myanmar? Available? Wow. Those are uh those are the big options. Wow, Nigeria looking fantastic, dominating Ireland. Norway beats Morocco in extra time. A wild extra time that involves a goal apiece from Croatia and then Switzerland before Croatia wins in penalties. And Uruguay beats Peru with a 110th minute goal from Satriano. That produces our final 16, which is DR Congo against Austria. Boo! Japan and France, Chile, Germany, Norway, Croatia, USA, Italy, Mexico, England, Belgium, Brazil, Nigeria, Uruguay. There is fun to be had with this draw. The United States is not in the easy part, although a USA-Mexico quarterfinal, while incredibly unlikely, is still on the table, which would be absolutely amazing. France with the easiest driver? Yes, France does have the easiest driver. Oh, dude. I, this came on organically. I didn't even put this on. One of our theme songs of our managing, you know, our time managing and uh, the rains down in Africa, you know? Hey, Sean. All right, I'll go ahead and auto-select that. We are, we're gone on the 1st. I am not under contract from the 1st of July, so I will not be at Orlando Pirates by that time. But we are still technically the coach of the Orlando Pirates for two more days. 
I'm sorry, but it is time to leave. It's almost a fitting song. We've become the African champions at Orlando Pirates, but it is time to leave. Down in Africa. If you go to Brazil, you need to get a funk playlist. What's Brazil's dance? It's not salsa. It's like samba or something. What's Brazil's dance? Samba, yeah. All right, so samba. We got a samba playlist. I'll start learning. They'll see me up here. Slipping around. B Tom, thank you for the two months, dude. Crazy, thank you so much for the prime. I appreciate y'all supporting the channel. And now funk. Bossa Nova. Ooh. I do like some Bossa Nova, you know. I like me some Bossa Nova. I wonder if any of our South African players are going to be able to come join us in Brazil. I mean, I know what you guys are thinking. Lala, 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 bad boy. I don't know if he's good enough to help us in the Brazilian top league right now. He might be. There's a couple of wonder kids on that freaking team, though. Africa, oh, yeah. Do, do, do. Magani Zungu got a virus. No! No! Say it. Say it ain't so. And we're leaving. We're gone. I've never done this. I've never actually just run out of a contract at a club. Oh, do I have to consciously leave? Oh, that's awkward. I'm now out of a contract, though, right? Uh, yeah, I, I, I do not have a new contract. Why is it just resign? That's the only option. All right, so I just have to wait until my job is, like, accepted somewhere else, and then I'll be leaving. But they don't have to pay any compensation in the meantime. I'm really just making a good financial decision for my next club. No compensation. Very easy. Oh, the Copenhagen job's open. There's no shot I can get that. Villa? Ah? Uh huh? Ah, uh -huh. Aston Villa? Yeah, we can't get that either. Okay, Frosinone. We didn't get Palermo. We're not going to get a Serie A team. <sighs> How is the season still not turned over in the Netherlands? How are they still sitting there like, yeah, well, we haven't turned this over yet. We'll be fine, though. I haven't like okay, are they are Vasco da Gama, are they still oh my goodness. So how many um how many how many matches they play in a season in Brazil? I know it's a lot with the state championships, I just mean in the league. They play thirty eight, so normal. So sixteen matches played, thirteen points. Yeah, we got a bit of an uphill battle. We, we, we have a bit. Dude, Fluminense is in last. The Brazilian League is wild in terms of the parody. We get the offer from Vasco da Gama. We're going to take it. It's the best of the three job applications we have out right now. If we get the offer from Vasco da Gama, we're going to take it. They're worth more than three times the uh, the amount that uh, Nock Breda is in the Eredivisie. Oh, 
Why are furious we let Ilya Shkurin go? Hey, Ilya, have fun at Zenit, man. I really appreciated you being here. I thought that was a lot of fun. Oh, wow. Two different guys want to consider options at the end of their contract. Well, that sounds like a problem for the next manager. So the great team we've assembled is on the verge of falling apart. Two of the three starting midfielders potentially considering their options at the end of the season. Ethan Brooks and Rivaldo Cotsea, they're on the move. They're on the move! Der Pipe, thank you for the two months, my dude. Cattleson, thank you so much for the 15 months. Come on, Vasco, offer me a job so I can I, I so that so that our team can be in good hands. <gasps> the World Cup is here. Dude, they did it again. Austria did it again. They came from behind against DR Congo as well. They are so anti-African, it's insane. <laughs> they beat us and DR Congo, dude. This is ridiculous. Austria. Watch it. If DR Congo also deserved to win. Okay, no, Austria deserved to win. Never mind. Austria did deserve to win that one. The U.S. losing in penalties in the round of 16, though, hurts. Actually out XG'd Italy. So this was Italy in the 20th minute. Oh, come on. You got to be blocking that, dude. You got to be blocking that. 88th minute, I would have been running circles around my house. It's Weston McKinney. The very Weston McKinney esque goal, honestly. Eliminated in the penalty shootout in the round of 16, the round that the U.S. seems to always lose in. And we're out again. Quarterfinal, it's Austria and Italy. European supremacy has stayed. Oh. oh, the African Super Cup. Oh, that's uh, that's a new one. The African Super Cup. Okay. Yeah, I I don't want I don't know if I want to resign. Like, I probably do, but am I concerned with resigning? is that it will go on my record as like, why did you resign from your job, you know? And they'll be like more hesitant to hire me. I want to just get hired away from my job. Vasco should respond in the next few days. Theoretically. We owe me, thank you for the 11 months. Yeah, it'll go against me, exactly. So I have to just... Oh, wow. FCSB, we did the interview and they were like, actually... We're not interested. So the big club in uh, in Romania said no. We got rejected. Atletico, Atletico, Paranense. They have a ton of reputation. That's kind of crazy. They're actually super high rep. Go to Puerto Montt. That sounds like a free vacation spot, dude. That's but that's not the that's not these aren't the right Botafogos. 
These are different Botafogos. Hey, Vasco just won. They just won their last match under the assistant manager, or whoever they got going. Lucina Traore is playing in Brazil. Of course he is. Vasco just has to say yes, but I'm going to apply to Baron Ench. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm going to apply to Paranensha just in case Vasco says no is what I'm going to do. Vasco's got more money and less expectation. That sounds perfect <laughs> for me. Oh, Brazil's out. Dude, Belgium's had the worst tournament ever. They like haven't actually won a game, except they have. They lost to Uruguay. They beat Cameroon three to two. They were losing to the UAE. They were level with the UAE until the 90th minute and then won. They've gone to penalties with Colombia and Brazil, and they've flubbed their way into the quarterfinal. Absolutely insane tournament from Belgium. They have knocked Brazil out from down 2-0. They were losing 2 to nothing, chat. In the second half, with 15 minutes to go. Oh, bad. We'll start with the Brazil goals early from early second half here. Gabriel Jesus. Brilliant. <laughs> More people should just call him Gabriel Jesus. Brilliant play by Gabriel Jesus. Then a nice pass. Bruno Guimarães. 2-0. And then in the 77th minute, the Red Devils of Belgium. Oh, oh, oh! Dude, that is absolutely disgusting from Yuri Thielmans. Down 2-0 in the World Cup. Are you joking? From there, with the with the sauce, that's floating. That is floating into the top corner. Oh, my. Oh, that is so good. And then in the 87th minute. In the 87th minute for the Red Devils, it's Jeremy Doku. What a beautiful goal. And Belgium wins the penalty shootout. Germany went behind a goal, went up 2-1. Chile leveled it at 2, and then Goretzka scored an extra time. We are off and running. We have had four matches so far in the round of 16. All have gone to extra time. It's Germany, Belgium, Italy, and Austria that have gone through. England, Mexico, Japan, France next. How did we do in the World Cup? We got out of the group and then lost in the round of 32 to Austria on penalties. Uh, they scored a 94th minute equalizer. It hurt. Uh, but sometimes, you know, and the penalty shootout was 10 shots long. Sometimes you end up on the right side of those incredibly dramatic moments. We ended up on the wrong side of it. Yeah, but we... Uh, Mm. We had we had something. We had something in that team. Are there, are there any upsets today? Are there any upsets today? Pad Parents Sid, thank you for the five gifted subs. Mexico! They've beaten England! Irving Lozano! And the Mexican national team are going to the quarterfinals of the World Cup! France on a penalty from Kylian Mbappe knocks out Japan. And we have six of our eight. It's France, Austria, Italy, Mexico in the quarterfinal. Belgium and Germany wait for their opponents. It's Croatia, Norway, Nigeria, Uruguay. A very fun little matchup right there. It's a jam. Phoenix, thank you for the three months. The curse of the fourth game is over. It is. 
Actually, it had already ended because there's like another game in this tournament, but you're still cooking. Royal, thank you for the 28 months. Ryobi, thank you for the 11. Appreciate you guys supporting the stream. Southgate out. Yeah, well, I mean, you lose to Mexico in the round of 16. Really, anybody should get fired for that. That is when Mexico gracefully bows out of every World Cup except for the most recent one. They understand their role, and they gracefully bow out the moment they get to the round of 16. They don't even play the game. They just leave. The sign away. The sign away. Have I found a job yet? Look, Benzema. What do you know? No, I haven't. Working on it. The Viking job in the, uh, well, the Elite Siren's actually the top league, right? So the Elite Siren, that's why it's so elite, you know? Uh, how much money do you have? Eh, I think Brazil. Brazil's got more money. It's got the continental competition. It's got more reputation. That's where we want to go if we can get uh, the Vasco job. That is our number one job right now. I'm not even going to apply to Viking. Um, Tapelo Maseco, not unsettled by an offer from St. Etienne. That's wild. This guy has less reputation than me, and you're appointing him as the head coach. Vasco da Gama. Okay. You're not even a real team. All right, Knock Breda, you are the only team that's actually offered me a contract, and I would like to delay it again to see if I can get another, see if I can get the interview with Atletico Paranense. And we will make them regret what they have done to us. Wow, uh, we're not getting the super awesome jobs that I thought we would be getting. I'm going to be completely honest with you. We're not. Um, oh, ooh, they should be in Europe. Oh, yeah, this is a um, this is a summer league, too. They're in the middle of the season, which would be why they fired their coach. They finished fourth last year, and they're in 15th. No. Do, 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 do. Hey, there's uh, oh Tigre. Where did they? Uh, where were they up to? Seventh and second, but they're they're not very good right now. Holy, what? There's 28 teams in the top flight. Tw How many matches do they play? 41. Uh, May that doesn't make much sense. Yeah. Are they... They got grouped, right? In Copa Sudamericana, it looked like they got grouped. They looked like... Yeah, they got grouped. Okay. Tigre got grouped. Finished behind Union Magdalena and Cuiaba. Cuiaba. Well, the Atletico Peninsula job, we're probably not going to get it. Unfortunately. Wow, we've interviewed for a couple of jobs that we just didn't get. That does not that doesn't happen to me. Ah, uh, Randers. It's not a bad offer. But the money, dude, the money in Brazil. I want those coaching badges and all the money that they have. I want the coaching badges and all the money that the Brazilian teams have, dude. That's what I want. Fine. The truth finally comes out. I don't want to go to like Randers or like, I want the money they have. Knock Breda. I mean, it's the only job offer we have right now. It is the only one. Is Knock Breda. We might be in the second division of the Netherlands here. Get the badges in the Netherlands, but they're a poverty club, dude. They're in cell mode. They're actually in cell mode. I guess you're just what I needed.
Yeah, I need it. Some on them. Do, do, do. We're going to apply to Viking and Randers. Just to, just to have some job apps out there at clubs we would not mind managing. Top league in uh, Scandinavia. I am not going to, you know, I but not my preferred situation going to Tigre, but that might be where we, you know. Oh, Randers just, <laughs> the interview process is over. Screw you, dude. Not commenting on the links to Viking right now. All right, final World Cup round of 16. This is my entertainment while we wait here. Um. I'm coy on my talks with Viking to take over. Nigeria's out. Africa's wait continues. But another extra time stunner between Norway and Croatia in the round of 16 at the World Cup. It's the Croatian national team to the quarterfinals at the 2026 World Cup. But this looked like a wild one. It starts with Norway in the 22nd minute. Shoot, Andreas. Shield it up. And a pen for Croatia to make it 1-1. Easy. There's Holland. There's Shelder up. Shelder up. Solbakken. Solbakken. 2-1 Norway. And then I believe, yes, Norway did take a 3-1 lead in this game. Oh, he squares it. Shelder up with the... I mean, come on now. That's a Shelder up hat trick. It's Norway 3-1 but Croatia's unkillable. Everybody knows that. Friggin, Simic, 3-2. 58th minute, vibes are back. 78th minute, 3-3. Three, three. Duyan Kaletikar. And then in the 113th minute, off a throw-in, it's Mislav Orsic. Huge deflection. Catastrophe for Norway. Quarterfinals, Austria, France, Germany, Croatia, Italy, Mexico, Belgium, Uruguay. The last eight teams remaining. Ah, oh. Yeah, Norway, I mean, shoot, you had a two-goal lead. Yeah, they had a chance. They had a little more than a chance. I should have won. Sanzier, thank you so much for the prime. Thank you for spending five dollars of Jeff Bezos' money to support the stream. Dom White, thank you for the seventeen months. Henri, thank you for the thirty-eight months. Some boring quarterfinals, yeah. It was a very exciting round to sixteen. I'm not good enough for the Brazilian top league, dude. I thought I was. I'm just not. I am not good enough for the Brazilian top league. We've been rejected by Atletico Paranaense. We are not able to go to Brazil's top league, and it looks like, honestly, Lions God, thank you for the tier one. I appreciate you. Thank you for uh, thank you for supporting the stream, dude. Not until I win MLS, dude. I've won ten trophies in three years. Wait a minute, Chester. Ricardo Marquez. All right, like we did. Colombian League going crazy. Palacios. It's gonna be. I have no idea where I'm gonna be managing now because we're. You know, we're, we we got the friggin' interview with Vasco. Nothing. Orlando Pirates take silence as golden. Dude, I'm on a month-to-month -month contract, okay? I wouldn't say this is, like, your great moment. Knock Breda's looking like the, I mean, they team that just got relegated from the top flight. That's an, you know, in, 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 in the Netherlands, that's an opportunity. We have the application out with Viking and Tigre, but I, Knock Breda's got the highest wage budget, even though they're a poverty club, you know, they're probably, uh, Probably our best choice. Oh, Redding's available. Guatemala's national team is available. 
I can't believe, wow, we just didn't get any of those jobs. Is there a way to lower the volume on the ads? They're always too loud. I, I don't think so. Wait, no, hold on. <clears throat> I forgot what my job was. There is a way to lower the volume on the ads. Subscribe. Somebody, I, somebody, average current. Thank you for the tier one. Enjoy your lack of ads. Four of our, thank you for the two ones. <laughs> Let's go, dude. All right, so well, Corny, thank you so much for the prime. Hey, Mary, thank you for the prime. Dude, what, thank you guys for all the subs supporting the stream. Thomas, thank you for the five months, brother. Appreciate it. Andy, thank you for the gifted sub. Castle Bravo just gifted five subs. Walter P. Malone with the prime. Nail with the five months. Jeff Bezos is looking at his phone like, where's all my money going? Stray, thank you for the prime. Rick, thank you for the three months. Bob, the 31. Soap with the gifted subs. Deb, thank you for the tier one. Razin Man, thank you for the three months. Brooks, thank you so much for the 11. Soap McTavish just gifted 10 subs, Chad. Thank you so, that's a lot of gifted. The ace giftos. Thanks for making 10 people's days. If you got a gift to be sure to say thank you. All five from Eagle. Thank you to Shinri for the seven months. Tire Barrier, thank you so much for the prime. Uh, Hats, thank you for the three months. Eagle, thank you so much for the, the, the five gifted. You are awesome. Soap McTavish, thank you for the 10 gifted. I always love your name. Diddy, thank you for the three months. <laughs> no ads for anybody. Nobody's watching ads anymore. Diddy, thank you for the three, though. PETA, thank you so much for the prime. Superfenster, thank you for the year. Congrats on your golden bacon. AJ, thank you for the two months. No ads for anybody, baby. If you got a gifted sub, be sure to say thank you. You got people out here making people's sure days. Like so if you got a sense. sub, if you just resubbed, make sure you get in the sub section of the Discord. You'll be a part of all the community games and they save your saves and all that fun stuff that goes on in there. Oh, dude, it went to extra time both times. But we ended up with Italy, France in the semifinal. Austria is unkillable. They got all the way to the 108th minute without conceding. Prime Peter Crouch! Diego, thank you for the prime. AJ, thank you for the two months. TJ, thank you for the 15 months. Prime Peter Crouch has just given 10 people the gift of bacon and zero ads. Yeah. Thank you. Send the love to Prime Peter Crouch. Say thank you if you got one of the gifted subs yourself. Darren, thank you for the nine months. Eagle gifted a sub. Donut a just luck. gifted five. <laughs> Joey just gifted 10. That's everything I've got. <laughs> Donut with the five, Joey with the 10, Prime Peter Crouch with the 10, Soap McTavish with the 10, Eagle with the five. Donut, thank you so much. Joey, thank you so much for supporting the channel with kindness and giving people the gift of no ads. You guys are awesome. Uh, Eagles, thank you so much for the, the the other gifted sub as well. I think it's a six or seven now. Bellingham's apparently subject to a massive transfer bid in your save. Let me go look. Holy Toledo, Batman. I gotta, I gotta remind you guys that subs <laughs> give you no ads more often. We're paying for our next Feral Islands video right now. Doc Earl Puffington, thank you for the gifted sub to filter up. Am I out of the World Cup? No, you're out of... 
you're out of the World Cup. I'm not, I'm not out. Uh, Mexico got all the way to pens with um with Italy, but lost. Is it no ads or the promise of bacon? That is a question that only subs to this channel can really answer for themselves. Thank you guys so much for supporting the channel, though. It means the world. We are definitely going to be able to let the editors out of the basement for at least an hour. Uh, RDZ, thank you for the nine months. Sandman, thank you so much for the seven months. And thank you for those big batches of gifted subs. Those are always... I, I, I if You couldn't tell. I never know what to say. So, thank you. Caprese, boy. You a big fan of um, mozzarella? <laughs> Thanks for the prime, dude. Would you rather have games, uh, bacon, but no games, or games, but no games? Uh, Brookler, did you have a stroke? Free range editors? Yeah, they're organic. Grillito just gifted a sub. Grillito, thank you for gifting the sub. Right, Bellingham. Did they say it was 300 million? Was that what somebody... Uh, Holy smokes. 335 million dollars. Jude Bellingham to Paris Saint-Germain. Holy dude. Do dude. 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 That's a bit of cash. Real Madrid turning a profit. Florentino Perez is about to buy a Wonder Kid 11 with that amount of money. That is nuts. That is insane. Hey, you guys want to coach Knock Breda? I don't think we're going to end up with much of an option. So hopefully you say yes. Hopefully you're like, yes, I want to coach Knock Breda. Because taking over a team that just got relegated from the Isle de Vizy. Um, uh, there's a, we don't have an offer from Denmark. Uh, Randers had already closed their application process. Is there a way for us to trigger it? Because I don't think we're going to take, uh, I wouldn't take Tigre or Viking Happy over, holidays, over Nock Breda. Nock Breda would be starting the season. We'd have a chance to build the team. Can I, uh, can you, I, yeah, come on, can, uh, I, I just send the offer again, dude. Just send the offer again. The song's gonna make me cry. <laughs> Ow! It's making me think about all the good times we had with the Orlando Pirates. Uruguay! Oh, what happened in extra time here? Croat dude, Croatia took the lead and then got a man sent off in the 33rd minute. Timo Werner scored in the 70th to level it, and then finally in extra time, the dam broke and Germany scored four. Uruguay took the lead, Belgium equalized in the 58th. And then an extra time penalty gave Uruguay the win. Uh, and that means this, you know, the semifinals actually spiced up a little bit. Italy, Uruguay, France, and Germany. But I feel like Germany and Italy in particular have absolutely limped here. Germany beat Chile in extra, uh, Germany like every round. Germany beat Ukraine in penalties, Chile in extra time, and a 10-man Croatia in extra time. Italy beat Mexico on penalties, the U.S. on penalties, and uh, beat Cameroon 1-0. Italy and Germany have absolutely limped into the semifinal. We're looking at France, Uruguay, I'm telling you right now. It's like all... It, cr dude, Italy beat the U.S. and Mexico on pens. That is so infuriating. Young Prax, thank you so much for the prime, dude. Grilito, thank you for another gifted sub. And Run GMC, thank you for the 15 months. Thank you to every single one of you guys that's part of the Hammers that supports the stream. Best group of people on the internet. I'll tell you, it's right here. Is there any uh, any truth to rumors that Bordeaux could make a move to to, uh, to Pelham a Seco? No. What are you? What are you? What are you? Like chump change? Come on. Right, I'm gonna eat my peanut butter toast. No, that's what I'm gonna eat. 
Uruguay to win it. I mean, they've looked good enough to win it. We're waiting for our knock Breda offer to come in. You know what I want to listen to? I mean, after landslide. Is, um... Why the snow-covered hills of the landslide bring you down? Is, uh, our goodbye song to Orlando Pirates. That's what I want to listen to. 110 million for Shashko? I'm not surprised, honestly. We're four years in the future. That makes complete sense. If he develops the way a lot of people think he will. Johnny, leave her. Oh, leave her, Johnny, leave her. It's time for us to leave her. Leave her, Johnny, leave her. We'll never, we'll never, we'll never be in a situation like the Orlando Pirates again. We're headed to knock Breda, who just got relegated from the era de Vizzi to try and get them back. We've done what we can. We've won everything we could with the Orlando Pirates. We're going to miss them. Leave her, Johnny, leave her. We're taking the job with Knock Breda. Leave her. Johnny, leave her. Oh, leave her. Johnny, leave her. Oh, dude, the end of the World Cup. Wait, what day is it? Why do I take the job in 15 days? I want to take it now. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Why? Why? <sighs> I can't change it now. I don't want to spend 15 more days ruining. No, I I know. I know. I all. That's what I, I, that's what I said. But the fact that I can't change it and go like, actually we're out of the tournament. When I said that we were in the tournament, but we're out of the tournament. I don't even think resigning from Ghana would do it because we've already like promised. Yeah. Use the editor. I don't even think the editor would work on that. Not, and not to mention, it's not something I'd want to use the editor on. We would want to take over the team now, not the 26th. No, we can't delay again. We've already delayed twice. It's only 15 days. Yeah, but it's 15 days where I'll just be screwing Orlando Pirates. I've already been screwing them for a while. Guys, this is, I don't care. Look, look, chat. Some people are like, I don't know if I like this job. This is a team that just got relegated from the era de Vizzi. We, it was not our first choice. We didn't get any other job offers, chat. We did not get any job offers. This is the job offer that we got. And I think it's a, a, I like it because we can, they have a huge wage budget relative to the second division of the Netherlands. We should be able to just bounce right back up. We have a chance to win right away.
All right. I will take it, and hopefully it just automatically... Why did I remove that reset? I just removed something. I just removed something that was beneficial to me. I removed the top division promotion salary raise. What am I doing? All right, we're taking it. Does that mean we will leave our job with Orlando Pirates immediately? That would make sense. And then we just have the Ghana job Please and then take over at Knock Breda on the 26th and we get a vacation. Now. I hope we leave. Uh, no. <laughs> Okay, uh, Uruguay and Italy. Just resign now. Yeah, I feel like I should resign. I'm literally, I'm going to do what probably some, I, God, did Zealand make a video about this? Has Zealand made a video about this? Happens when you, when you swallow... Dude, what happens when you die, swallow gum, crack your knuckles, and file for bankruptcy? <laughs> what a dude. Incredible four piece right there. Right, resign football manager reputation. Uh, I'm doing a journeyman. I wanted to run my contract down with Storm's God said after winning the league and doing the trouble. My contract finished appears. I'm still at the club. If I resign, will I lose reputation? Uh, I've only con I've only earned a contract down once before. And I think what happens is automatically put me onto a rolling month to month deal until I resigned or asked for a new permanent contract. You shouldn't lose reputation possibly because you didn't resign with time left in your contract. You might be able to avoid the stupid job interview question about loyalty. I'm not hundred percent certain, but I generally see it. Whatever your star rating, you should get uh, job interviews from clubs that have the same star rating as you plus 0. 0.51 star more. That didn't happen because I have a continental C. What is best for your reputation? That's a long time ago. How to resign. I know how to resign. I always ask Jack. That's true. He is a bit of an expert in the subject. I'm going to resign. Not retire. I'm just going to resign immediately from Orlando Pirates. All right. Uh -uh. As I was saying, uh -uh. as we were saying, nine trophies in two years, chat. Nine trophies in two years. And my first ever African Champions League. But it's time for us to take a, take a step in a different direction because our goal in our career is not to just dominate the South African League forever. We want to rise to the top of the game. And to do that, we have to leave her, Johnny. Leave her, Johnny, leave her. Oh, I miss the resign button. How did I miss? I thought I clicked it. There it is. We're leaving. Leave her, Johnny, leave her. Oh, yeah, yeah, it does say I left at the end of my contract. Leave her, Johnny, leave her. Am I an icon? I don't even know. Leave her, Johnny, leave her. I am an icon. I am an icon. So we'll stay at Ghana until the uh, 26th and then 
you know, because we'll be able to watch the World Cup, then we'll resign Ghana and we take over at Knock Breda. Oh, painted knack. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, that's the song. Somebody in the chat came up with that. I want to. Paint hit knack, Breda. Germany's out. Who won in the other? Oh, it is. A re oh, that's third place playoff. Dude, Italy has not won a match in regular time. It's France, Italy somehow for the World Cup. The Italians finally back at a World Cup trying to act like they've been there all the time, you know. France is going to win. France is going to win the World Cup. I'm freaking, I can smell it. I, you retain a strong bond with the supporters. Um, thank them for the support and for them to know I'll always be an Orlando Pirates fan. What are your immediate thoughts in the wake of my departure? I'm very happy to put in this. Uh, yeah, I'd rather say as sad times as possible not to become attached to this club. It's a shame it's coming. No, 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 no. I feel it's for the best. I, I think it's time. I want it painted knack, Breda. Painted knack. I want it. Hey, I'm in knack. I'm going to learn the words to the song. No, that is not a requirement. I can mumble and then just time it right. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. Azerbaijan job's open. Like, I'm just saying. I'm just, I'm just, I mean, I didn't say it. You guys said it, you know, you know what I mean? Like, I'm a little nervous that like, we're going to get to the 26th, but because I resigned my other job, we're like, not that something's going to glitch out, you know, uh, nothing to say on the subject. Yeah. I really declined the job interviews. We have our job. It's knock Breda. We're painting. The Netherlands. Knack. Why didn't you interview? We already have a job. We already accepted a job, chat. We already accepted a job with Knock Breda. That's why we're singing Painted Knack. <laughs> Nothing of glitch. It's like a player transfer. All right, sweet. Why do we have to wait till the 26th to take over? Like, the World Cup's not even going to last until the 26th. Have we even gone on the side? No, we're going to leave. We were a rental for Ghana, but I uh, I don't have an ambition to coach. I, I don't have the ambition to coach an African team for a long period of time, like an African national team. The AFCON, all the qualifying matches, I feel like it'd just be very in the way. If you ever need, you know, you ever need a coach for... Like, maybe in two years we could take over and, you know, coach a World Cup cycle again, but, eh. I've always been a little jaded about international management because the, the, the player resting is so weird, it's hard to handle the major tournaments that way. But, as I all said, the resting is still weird. It is. Jim Shea, thank you for the eight months. Which job is the favorite right now? We accepted the knock braided job. I know you were asking that a little while ago, but we accepted the knock braided job. We resigned the Orlando Pirates. I think resigning at the end of your contract does not hurt your reputation. 
And the knock braided job starts in the 26th. All right, third place game. Germany and Uruguay. Germany wins third. Yeah, silver dollar. Did I win anything with the Orlando Pirates? No, I didn't win anything with the Orlando Pirates. I won everything. We won the quintuple last year. That's why we're leaving. Won the old quintuple. Just want to check my reputation real quick. And the be the coach. Hey, we won that the year before. Already had that trophy. Already had that trophy. No need to win it again, quite honestly. Because, chat, we had already won it. There was no reason to win it again because we'd already won it. We already have the trophy in the cabinet. You know, why did I need to go at it? Uh, do, 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 do. And the World Cup final, it, no way. There is no way that the only match they played that didn't go to extra time was the final. There is no way. 1-0 over Cameroon, pens against the U.S., pens against Mexico, extra time against Uruguay, and then they beat France 3-1 in the final, Raspadori and Berardi. The Italians are inevitable. Hey, hey, man! They handled their uh, they handled their group. They beat Argentina in that wild four three game. They beat Egypt. They beat Saudi Arabia one nil in an eighty eighth minute goal. They were not convincing at all the whole tournament, but they are a classic example of survive and advance. And if you survive and advance, you will uh, you'll get there eventually. Uh, they're determined to keep faith in your coaching ability and are, you know, they're optimistic about you being able to put together better performances in the future. I mean, I feel like that was a decent performance. We almost beat Austria to get to the last 16 of the World Cup, dude. We should have, almost. Tragic. Uh, the Italians picking up the win. It just goes to show either they miss the World Cup or they win the World Cup. There is no in between. Now there should there usually is like a bunch of national team jobs that open up after that. Argentina, Bathil. Oh, dude, the Fluminense job just opened up. They're in dead last. Uh, Brazil opened up. We've got Colombia, Ivory Coast, Egypt opening up. Uh, Germany. Jamaica, Iman, Morocco, the Netherlands. How's Austria open? Well, the coach probably got, look, Germany made it to the semifinals. I mean, the, the coach probably got poached. Also, you know, one cycle's usually enough. You know, you kind of just move on. You're like, yeah, uh, that's enough. I mean, what if we got another job, you know? What if we got another job? Vigno, thank you so much for the prime. You wait, is the U.S. open? No, it's not though. The U.S. job is not open. Switzerland and Ukraine are open. How is the Dutch job just three and a half stars? Well, I guess they did kind of get grouped at the last World Cup. That coach got fired so fast. That coach got fired so fast. But the Brazilian job's probably like five stars, four and a half. Don't think we can swing that one. Uh, Argentina also four and a half stars. We might be able to get. No, we won't. No, no, we no, we 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 Zealand. 
We are not able to get the Dutch job. We're not. Don't let me talk myself into that. Don't let me talk myself into that. How's Schalke doing? Is my IRL team? I have no idea. Unless. Try for the Brazil job. Oh. I don't know if I like managing in Europe because you have the freaking Nations League going on. It's not fun. I didn't, in my defense, I didn't apply to any Eredivisie teams. So I don't know. Uh, I don't know. But those international jobs, they're open. They're fun. That Ghana one was definitely a pleasant kind of hilarious surprise. But yeah, I think, I think it might be... Well, once we get into the knock braided job, we're going to leave the Ghana post. That's what we decided. Especially with the fact that we have a winter league, we don't want the Africa Cup of Nations to be in the middle of a season every other year. That we would have to go coach with the Ghanaian national team, although we did enjoy our World Cup run. We had a good time with our World Cup one uh, run. Do 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 do. Viking would be a cool job. Yeah, it would. Uh, I think Knock Breda just offers a bit more of a unique challenge at this particular juncture because now, I mean, Knock Breda just got relegated. Like, there's a lot of fun to that. Rusty, thank you for the year. Appreciate the prime, dude. Are we changing teams? Are we leaving the Pirates? Yeah, we just left the Pirates. We we ju we just left the Pirates. Uh, our contract ran out. We decided to leave the club. Uh, they're going to try and find somebody else, bring in a new coach, and continue the dynasty that we just started. Uh, Luke the Giant, thank you for the 22 months. A couple of years in the Netherlands would be interesting. I mean, I'm I'm envisioning maybe just one year, kind of like what we did with Black Leopards where we manage one year with the Nether in the Netherlands, we get a coaching badge, we hopefully win the second division. Our goal is to win the second division. Our goal is to win the second division. That's uh, uh, an, an obvious goal that we have in place. As long as we have bad boy, we'll be fine. We have to sell to buy, allegedly. So I am going to try and find one player to sell that can help uh, alleviate club debts. Hopefully we have a wonder kit I can just sell to Ajax for like $5 million or something. Because we are only going to really be able to engage in free transfers because of the insecure financial position of the club. But with the, the club also, the way they made it sound, we should have the talent to get promoted right back up. Knock is not the sort of club that's supposed to yo-yo between the first and second division in the Netherlands. It is a massive club in the, uh, for the second division of the Netherlands. We're taking over tomorrow. You guys ready? You got your first day of school face on? Hi, puppy. I... Uh, my... My... One of, one of the puppies is keeping me company. Hi, puppy. Hi. Hi, I didn't know you were there. I didn't know you were there. I didn't know you were hanging out with me. Yeah. I didn't know you were hanging out with me. Wait. Oh, yes. Perfect. It's time. Aspen, what do you think of, uh, what do you think of, uh, knock? Think it was a good job? Yeah. I don't have a mobile camera here, so it's hard for me to, like, show puppy. All right. Aspen, I'm here. Aspen, come up. Come up. Come up. I know I never ask you to do that, but no, don't sit. Come up. Come up. Come up. Hi. Hi. They can barely see you, but that's enough. I know. Thank goodness mom's not watching. She'd be so mad. Yeah. They'd be so mad. Okay, you want to do the press conference? You can just do it. Yeah, you can just sit here. Yeah. Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. Thank you for keeping me company. I know. 
so fun. Zealand's home. And he just sits next to me all day. So fun. All right. I'm glad that you were able to. Uh, that's Aspen. All right, Knock Brado, what do you got for me? It's a pleasure that I welcome you to Knock. Ahead of discussions regarding the club's vision and objectives, we have prepared a welcome pack to help you settle into your new home. This is a momentous day and truly a sign of great things to come. It is. It's a solid kit, I agree. Founded in 1912. Our rivals are Willem. Willem. <laughs> as a club which enjoyed its best spell during the 70s, their last competition win came as recently as 2025. Now are a club with a growing history. They won the Dutch top division for the only time in 1921 and have finished runners-up four times. They won the KNVB Becker in 1973 and won the Dutch second tier in 2000 and 2025. Oh, they're yo-yoing right now. They're yo-yoing and they just got relegated again after going up. Uh, transfer obligations. Uh, Benjamin Jimenez joins on a free transfer. Oh, he sucks. He ain't good. Okay, let's do it. Uh, we've got a meeting. Uh, well, yeah, we've got a press conference. Okay, press conference. So you can just resign at the end of a contract and it doesn't seem to hold it against you. I just left at the end of my contract. Um, hired as Ghana coach, 531-2026. We won, you know, I'm in the African Hall of Fame, for crying out loud, review negotiations. Oh, my goodness. Well, we're going to have to figure out very quickly, chat, um, what's going on. So, Clint Lehmans is being sold to the Arawa Red Diamonds. Sounds like that's necessary. What's the financial position? It's okay. It's already okay. What have we, what, what have we done to rectify that? Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Whew. All right. Roll up your sleeves, chat. We're about to get in the weeds. Euros Ignatovic. Doesn't like big matches. Played six matches for us in the Era de Vizy. Victor Wernerson also despises big matches. So our transfer budget is under 62000 Our committed spend is fairly high. Who's got the biggest wage? I guess there's clearly a max contract that these guys have. Anthony Apoku. Yeah, I don't know if this is uh, the dude. Definitely want to sell him. We're going to offer him out for an unspecified amount. Facundo Castro also... I uh, transfer listed the 30 year old. Let's offer him out. See what kind of offers we get back. Georgia Pava is sir. Okay. This squad is a mess. This squad is an absolute mess. We have 40,000 transfers that are currently about to go through. Uh, if the Clint Lehman's transfer goes through. We're probably financially very healthy. Uh, the thing I love about Clint Lehman's though, is that he's actually not on a big contract. So the, the sale is a little annoying, but 3.6 million is 3.6 million. That's the installments that'll bring it up to 3.6 million, but the 2.8 million, how much go in the budget? 60% up to 31 million. So we will get some transfer budget with the Lehman sale, which I would love to have that just to work with. That won't be all of it. It'll be 60% of it. So we'll end up with like 1.5 million, but our balance will be healthy. Uh, let's look at our transfer history. We've probably already made some sales. Yes, Dominic Janoszek was sold to Fortuna Sittard for 3.2, and Martin Koshelnik was sold for 2.2. To uh, raise funds, we're selling to buy. And we signed Nicholas Souter as a goalkeeper for some reason. Amari Bell. Oh, God. I guess that's my left back. 32-year-old Jamaican Amari Bell and Davey Bregu. 
as a left wing. Oh, why'd you sign this guy, dude? Why did you sign Davey Bregu before I... Ah, oh, it's right before I got here, too. We're stuck with these jabronis. Yeah, they already made that money. That's why selling Clint Lehman's would actually give us transfer budget to work with, which is what I want. I want a little transfer budget to work with now that we are healthy. Uh, oh, they made an offer for Soe uh, Kazuko. Interesting. Uh, Tony Villa. Okay, they, they have an offer for Conrad Mikalik. I have no idea whether he's good or not. This is a very, very difficult position to be in. All right, what I am going to do is go resign my Ghana post. Knocker in the second division, they were just relegated, hence why we were able to get the job. I am going to resign my post as the Ghana head coach. Lehman's wants to leave. Boy Kemper wants to leave. Okay, well, okay, okay. First thing, first thing. Rules. What are the rules? <sighs> Time to go. Time to go off. Uh, max of six. Oh, that's loan rules. Allowed on loan at a time. There's no rules. There are, there are no rules. Transfer window, June to September 1st. There's literally no rules. Didn't go Brazil. Hey, don't boo me. They didn't offer me the job, dude. I wanted to go. But now we've got to rebuild this catastrophe. We will. We will do it. There are no rules. Look, you look, all I'm saying, all I'm saying is you do not want to see what I'm capable of when there's no rules. All right. You don't want to see what I'm capable of when there are no rules. So these uh, we have the four periods, nine games, ten games, nine games, ten games. This is exactly what South Africa had, actually. Um, one team qualifies for the playoff, skipping teams already qualified. Okay, so each period you qualify for the playoff. Uh, the, you get promoted to the Eredivisie with a top two finish. And then you also can qualify for the playoff by finishing third or fourth or, you know, winning one of the other things. And then you have a playoff thing, which we don't want to learn. There are six teams in the first round of the playoffs, four teams in the second round of the playoffs. Uh, and then in third round of the playoffs, there's two teams. Okay, so we don't want to worry about that. Let's just go win the league. Uh, but there are, you know, you there are, there's there's nonsense abound. Wants to leave due to the club getting relegated. Cool. I don't want anybody here that doesn't want to be here. I I do not want anybody here that doesn't want to be here. Uh, he's very interested in leaving. Well, then let's go ahead and offer him out. Uh, we especially if we're able to get some serious resources in, should be able to uh to make this happen. Uh, there are no rules in the Netherlands, and so we should be able to make this happen fast. Wants to start more games? Well, I got great news. The other dude wants to leave, so you're up, Jonas. <sighs> okay, so now that we know the rules, we know what we're looking at. We want to get rid of the people that don't want to be here. Clint Lehman's already has a transfer accepted. We are going to ask for a new coaching course, obviously, immediately. Uh, hopefully, we get it. We'll see. I welcome and chose violence. Yeah, of course. Why would I not? It is time. Anybody not at a club? Jesse Don. Honestly, could do a job for us right now. Let's bring Jesse Don in on trial. My expertise in South African players should be a, a help here. This league is not too good that we can't use these guys. Kings Kongwa. Absolutely. You want to play here? This dude is so good for this league. I, I like already know it. And guess what? I don't have to worry about foreign player rules anymore. So, uh, Kings, you want to come? Oh, my goodness, dude. How much money do you want? 
How about this? I'll give you a $5 million release clause and a $5 million non-promotion release clause. Sell-on fee is at 5% locked. Match highest earner clause will definitely be there. Uh, top division promotion salary raise. 35% is fine. Pretty standard going rate. I think we're a little short of what he would want. Unused substitute fee. Non-negotiable. Uh, I would happily do three and a half. Three and a half million is the release clause is Kings. That would have been sick. Who's got a bid in for him? Oh, Preston North End. That's what's driving his wage up so much. His wage is getting driven up by that. Dang it, dude. We actually had the perfect guy. He was actually perfect. I could have done the zero non-promotion, yeah. I'm a little rusty. I'm a little rusty being in this position. I'll remember. I'll get going again. All right, I'm going to offer a trial to everybody on our good list because everybody on our good list is going to be good enough, and some of those guys might want to come on this trial. We don't know for sure. Uh, let's see if I can use my memory here. Anybody that we know that we're looking at and we're like, ah, Sadeg was good, yeah, but he would cost some money to get eBay. Hyrodita, Mustafa Igwe. Mustafa Igwe is legitimately a first-team player for us right now, but they're going to charge some cash for that. Omar Alkoja, that dude is plenty fine. <laughs> plenty fine for this league right now. All right. All right, I'll offer that, and then we are going to go to Orlando Pirates. And we are going to steal. Oh, who bid for Koba? Oh, they transfer listed him? Why? God, I'm going to I'm gonna have to watch the freaking computer dismantle my team, am I? Or aren't I? They've transfer listed Koba for 1.3 million. The brilliant Koba. You know I want Stapella Maseko. I want Stapella Maseko. This dude's an assist machine, and there is nobody with this pace in this league. There's nobody with this pace in the league we're going in right now. We'll see if they take that. We'll, we'll continue to try and hammer them. We'll see if they take that. Love them in a bad boy. Eh. Here goes our budget. Hey, well, we have a lot of sales queued up. That's why I'm doing that. We have a lot of sales queued up. That's why I'm doing that. We would love to bring Maseko. He is an incredible gamer. A really incredible gamer. Erwin Savedra is also a foreign player. Let's Let's get Erwin. Would Erwin want to? Would Erwin want to join? He has doubts about it. He would need a pretty serious wage, and he'd expect to be a star player. Come on, Erwin. We have a good relationship. Erwin Savedra is a really good player. All right, uh, Erwin. Yeah, they said yes to one hundred eighty-five thousand to bring Erwin Savedra with me. I cannot believe they're selling Koba. That is insane to me. Uh, confirmation of your re resignation. Yep. I, they understand my need to focus on my job. Yep. They, yeah, I, I've quit the Ghana post. Sorry. Okay. <clears throat> That's all that business that I wanted to take care of. All the old South African business. Uh, next, we want to look at the players that are, wait, we want to look at our staff. We only have two scouts. We need, we only have one coach. So one thing at a time. We've got assistant coach Roger Mulhook. We're going to need other coaches. So staff. 
everybody's favorite thing. My actual favorite thing, building the team that we are going to dominate with. Building the team we are going to dominate with. Motivating, uh, attacking. Let's find some good attacking coaches. Julian Jenner. Hell yeah, brother. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, brother. Hey, dude, you want to join? Hell yeah, you do. All right, so they've got, they've all got 14 attacking coaching, right? They do. Uh, but who has the great tactical coaching to go along with that? Or the great technical coach, or or just Radoncic. Anytime I see that name, Eastern Europe. Oh no, he actually wants money. The audacity of some people, you know what I'm saying? Like, dude, some people. All right, we need a fitness coach. Do 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 do. do. Anybody got twenty? No, it's probably a little overly ambitious. I didn't think seventeen was for a fitness coach. Gokhan Buzkaya. I mean, if there's a dude at 15 who's got better mental attributes than you, like other mental attributes, then he's way better. Frank Van Kempen, and he already speaks the uh, the language, motivation, determination, discipline. Oh, he's better. He's better. Frank Van Kempen, you want to be my my coach? No, I want you as a fitness coach, actually. Sorry. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk. I, I don't want to talk about it. I don't, I quite honestly don't think it's important. Uh, chat, you tried to save me. You tried to save me, but I am sometimes, chat, I am impossible to save. Sometimes, chat, I'm impossible to save. That was one of those times I was impossible to save. Anybody have, like, real standout mental uh, attributes? Yes. Olivier Werner. Oh, Olivier. All right, that's four coaches. Goalkeeping coach, fitness coach. <laughs> You're rioting because you want Lola Mella bad boy? All right, all right, all right, all right. Look, I don't know how much he would cost, but we'd be open to exploring Are you gonna loan him? I think I don't think we're gonna I my guess if we achieve our goals with knock, we'll probably be here one year unless we really feel good about the team and we're like, yeah, let's keep it rolling into the era divisi and see if we can win something crazy there. But uh that was like, uh, we might want to leave Lella Mella Bad Boy to develop and then bring him to wherever we go after Knock Breda. You know what I mean? We might want to do that. I'm not sure, though. Okay, so coaching staff, we need a set-piece coach. I was, trying to, I was wondering what you guys were rioting about. I saw, I saw a riot breaking out. Figured I should probably address that. Dude, set-piece coaching, not easy to be good at. Kosanati Hadebe. Oh, I'm going to bring a South African coach here, okay? That works for me. Kosanati Adebe. Uh, we don't have any performance in. What happened at this freaking, at this club, dude? They've completely fallen apart. I will rebuild them. I will rebuild them.
Oh, I messed it up. <laughs> Did all that and just messed it up. Uh, analyzing data, tactical knowledge. Ingo van Nunvai, Nunvaisen. You want to be my head performance analyst? As long as you get rid of that. The rise, once we get promoted, then I'm totally fine. Uh, you want it? We need two other performance analysts. So we're able to assess kind of how things go here. So, Branimir Michevich. Uh, no, I want you to be a performance analyst, actually, and I want you to get rid of that. He's like, well, you're going to have to pay me more. Yearly salary raise? No. Contract extension after promotion? No. Non-negotiable? Okay. See, I have other options. I don't need you, is the thing. I was just negotiating out of the kindness of my heart. But I really promise I didn't need you. You were just asking for too much, Branimir. All right, performance analysts are set. We don't need a technical director. We have a chief scout, but we are we are short two scouts. And we want to round out our recruitment team, so. Oh, sorry. You want to go? Okay. Sorry. Yeah, I know. Oh, she had to get my attention. She wanted to go outside. She was just sitting by the door and was like, this idiot is not looking over. What do I have to do to get his attention? All right, Tommy Soderstrom or Gregory Igaru, the Romanian. We'll grow with Gregory Igaru, and then we will, honestly, we should get both because we need two. So Tommy Soderstrom wants to be the chief scout. I wish so desperately there was a way to turn off them wanting to be the chief scout because you can search for a scout all you want, but you will end up with somebody that wants to be the chief scout all the time. Tim Mattis, brilliant. We'll give him a raise because this guy's actually good, and then we'll have two scouts coming in. That's perfect. Two recruitment analysts, yes, and we need sports scientists as well. And then we are all set. Then we have our actual, we have our core staff together. Judging player ability, analyzing data. Three, okay, sweet. Um, Wim Groot. <clears throat> I'm Groot. My mom had me tested when I was a kid. She said I was fine. They were wrong. Nice. Okay. <laughs> We've got, yeah, we're sports scientists. We've got our recruitment analysts. I mean, I had to do it once. That's one of those things. The name popped up. I was like, am I going to do it? I was like, yeah, I'm going to do it. And I'm like, okay, how, how, how are we going to go about this? Like, what's the best way to go about doing it? And then I settled on that. And, um, you know, and then and then after I did it, I felt satisfied. You know, I was pleased with myself. I thought I did a good job with it. There's a Lesu I've never had a guy from Lesotho on my staff, but Timba Maleko, legitimate staff member from Lesotho. Yeah, I'm a big hit because I speak the language. I am a big hit. I speak the you know the Soweto language. Okay, staff is set. That's something we needed to take care of. Now, there are a lot of transfers uh, outside of the trial, which I can narrow down by going to that inbox message. Uh, reviewing ongoing negotiations, which, of course, we've managed to mess up. Uh, they're looking at Kevin Ariaga, a 28-year-old Honduran who was playing at Blackburn the last four years. I do not know if I am happy with that. What's our scouting budget? 230000 to Central Europe. Yeah, okay, we have plenty of available payroll. Kevin Adiaga, uh, Aru Adres. 
Yeah, we have no idea how good these guys are. So my thought process is we should feel it out. I do know Timothy Fosu Mensa. I think this is actually a great deal. How have they managed to get Timothy Faso Mensa for... They're not even giving him, like, actual wage, dude. They're giving him a regular starter. I'm just going to let that one go through. Thorbino, thank you so much for the prime, brother. Thanks for supporting the stream. Sean, thank you for the uh, the 26 months. No, yeah, Timothy Fosu Mensa is a class player. I think we uh I think we keep him we keep that transfer. We just don't know how good these other guys are. Um Adu Andres. I think we what we do is we start a scouting war on them. Tony Villa Villa probably won't even say yes to us. This guy would have no idea how good Burke is. Uh Burke Gundar, Conrad Mikalik. I'm going to cancel that transfer. I we, we do not know how good he is. I will gladly scout him for a week. So I'm not going to cancel the transfer yet, but those are all job offers to be a part of my staff. And then we have the sale of Jonas Badger and Clint Lehman. So both, oh, both those guys have already been, they've already had sales negotiated. Okay, sweet. So we have two other guys. This guy we don't want. And let's go to our squad. Okay. Last thing we have to do, go to our squad. Get a feel for who's good, who's not. What's the, you know, what's the 411? Victor Wernerson. He's okay being here. Yeah, but he, we already looked at him. He hates big matches. Joe Abrigo. All right, 31 year old from Chile. He's got some game. Doesn't have a ton of game, but has some game. Boy Kemper wants to leave, uh, so which we're working on. So Owen Guinea. I don't like him. I, 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 yeah, I don't really like him at all. I'd rather have, I'd rather have Brooks. I'd rather go get Brooks from South Africa. What, what's your interest level? Be open to talking to other clubs. Let's feel that out, Owen. We can get like, you know, over 500,000 for that guy. I'm down. Owen Bezo loves to punch the ball, but there's nothing wrong with him. We got a good keeper. Or Marco Bezo, Owen. Uh, Salvareski. Oh, center back. Low determination on a center back. Never great. But very clearly a good player. Uh, Brian Selvareski. Dejvi Bregu. Oh, that's the winger they just signed that I hate, but we're stuck with him. Nicholas Souter, they signed our backup goalkeeper. Zico Burmeester. Okay, and he doesn't want to leave. He wants to stay, and he's not under a big contract. I'm happy with that. Everett Lindhorst. It's a better ball winner than the other guy. Roy Kortsmith. Oh, but why don't we sign that other goalkeeper? Seems like a waste of money. Uh, Toby Sibick, Ugandan center back, Toby Sibick. Good competitive player. Uh, Amari Bell. Oh, that's the left back from Jamaica they just signed. Ryan Vassen. Man, we need a star forward, dude. We do not have, like, a good star forward. This oppressing forward type guy. Brian Rivera. He's not bad. He is competent. Hey, Christian, thank you for the prime. Thank you for the 19 months. Hubba hubba. Hubba hubba 19 months. Uh, I jump from knock, you jump from... <laughs> Dude, what, what the songs you guys come up with? Typical knock signings. I don't know what that means. Facundo Castro, target forward, but he has 11 jumping reach. He's 5'7 five, five, target forward, Facundo Castro. Yeah! What's up, Tuga? All right, I am not, um, I'm just not a fan. I, I like him and Vossen. One of them's got to go, dude. And I think it's, I think it's Facundo Castro. Oh, he's already been offered. Okay, so we have, we were of like mine. Akpatu, I've offered out. Uh, Carlos Paternina. Also interested in moving on from Carlos Paternina. I'd be very interested in speaking to other clubs. 
He is listed, so that's good. Georgie Papava is bad. So yeah, let's uh, let's move on from him in any way that we can. Please. All right, and then affiliates, the last thing. Only Excelsior. Uh, let's look for a senior affiliate. I haven't been with us very long. Yeah, but it doesn't mean I didn't have a good idea. We're broke. Let's, let's sign people for less money. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, oh, they, he got a different offer. I, I see he got a different offer. And so I went in to renegotiate and they gave us the new offer. That's actually a very good thing to learn. You can go in and renegotiate if they have an offer from another team. You can go in and renegotiate if they have an offer from another team, and it will tell you what the new offer needs to be. See, I like Timothy Fosumensa, so I am going to attempt to get a negotiable deal, but we didn't, so we failed. Um, it was the only guy that we were like, yeah, this would make complete sense. We'd be super into this. Please reject the other offer and then come play for me. All right, we're done. We're ready. Saavedra has doubts about negotiating terms. Bad boy's not interested in contract talks. Okay. Okay. Understood. Come on. You love me. You love me, Irwin. You're a good player. You love me. Let's make it happen, dude. Actually, reset. Um, take the money and run. Top division promotion salary raise. You get a 25% raise. That's locked. Did not want to do that. So are all these going to be rejected? Every single one of them? I figured there'd be somebody that wanted to come on trial, but I guess, you know, we're not cool enough now. Oh, one of them was accepted. So that's cool. I'm on, take the money in, run. Make loan approach for Treen Truce. Why do I have four goalkeepers? I uh, know, I would like to sell him. The same with Carlos Paternina. I would, uh, we would like to sell Carlos Paternina. Please. Yeah, we can afford that, dude. Amir Warda. But he is on the transfer list, so maybe we can bring him in on a trial to see if Amir War... And look, he looks very good. He looks very good. Simi Zell, thank you so much for the five months. I appreciate you supporting the channel. Monthly meeting. Ooh. We don't really have a staff yet to do that with. Yeah, okay. So Timothy Fosu Mensa wanted to play in the Elite Siren in Norway. Instead, he has told us to kick rocks. Uh, player range. Very important, uh, immediate necessity here. Senior internationals, please step forward. Senior internationals that I have knowledge of, please step forward. Not from Afghanistan, preferably. Algeria. That's not bad. Algeria would not be bad. This guy, uh, well... Anybody with five caps for Algeria? No. Well, yes. Actually, Sufyan Faguli is retiring. Or the what's the age? Twenty-eight. Zakaria Drawi Drawi is twenty-eight. He's got the caps. He's ready to go. Angola, Nurio. Ooh, yes, yes. Argentina, Marcus Rojo and Ramiro Fun oh, Funes Mori. He's hanging out. Good for him. Armenia, Aruba, a lot of guys. Trent Sainsbury from all... Why, I, why am I on this? Do, do, do. Well, I guess this is like players that are interested in a transfer, but I particularly want to find free ones. There's the Angolan guy, Dali Minga. Is playing amateur ball? Are you serious? He's going to turn down the offer of a trial, too. It's like, that's not the most efficient way to scout if you're not looking for players that are currently not under contract. Hinterzeyer, he's freaking 35, though. 
Burundi is not as bad as you'd think. This dude is fast. Bienvenue Kanakimana. Uh, two 29-year-olds from Burkina Faso. He doesn't look very good. But Burkina Faso's national team is good, so like, ah. Uh, no. Bonaire, Bolivia. Henry Vaca, not currently under a contract trial. He's going to turn that down. Or the club's going to turn it down. Collins Fi, Collins Fi is available? Col Collins Fi is, okay, Olivier and Chomp. That's our striker, dude. This is our, this is an elite uh, not, not our striker. Sorry. The star player. Marlos Moreno. Would you like to trial? Yeah, I don't know where striker came from on that. You'd be completely honest. Ronaldo Matarita. Oh, yeah. Mat I, didn't I, wasn't I messed around with Matarita when we were in South Africa? I feel like I was. I feel like we had him around. Willis Furtado of uh, Cape Verde worth a trial. Comoros, they had a terrible tournament uh, recently, so no. Cuba's Matias de Wolf. So you were why Cuba was able to make it to the Intercontinental Playoff, huh, Matias? 15 to 19 jumping reach from central midfield. I think I'm in love. 22-year-old <sighs> playing for Curaçao. Obviously, we have knowledge of, like, every Aruban guy. Raven Rosario. Do, 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 do. No adaptability issues signing a dude from Curacao. We know that. Yero Shaleni. Eight appearances for the Czech Republic. Denmark, Henrik Dahlskar. It's 36. Not that desperate. Not yet. <laughs> Centuri Hostika. You might not be good enough, Santeri, but we're not sure yet, so we'll look. Faroese player Mads Mikkelsen. <gasps> he played for Klocksvik! Yes! Yes. Yeah, this dude played for Klocksvik. Check Nani use salary. Yeah, I know. Also, his name is Mads Mikkelsen. Took me a second. Kaba Sambo. Hmm. No. Vladimir Mamushas Vili. Been, been playing at Slovan Liberec for a while. Oh, Petros Mantelos. He looks like a freaking play. Oh, he's playing at Herinvin. Here in here in Veen. Here and there. He was playing it here and there. Ruben Providence, my favorite player from Rhode Island. Korea. Okay. Ahmed Ibrahim, 129 caps for Iraq. And Andre Al-Sanati, Al five caps for Iraq. Al-Sanati, Kim Young. Oh, he's retiring. Okay. Sorry, Kim. Blendi Adrisi of Kosovo. Oh, Abdullah Al Hamdan. I know you. Made that World Cup preview and that dude was involved in it. Sebastian Till. Oh, no, he's already moving. Till's the guy that scored that amazing goal, right, for Luxembourg? He's like actually legit. Daniel Sanani. We are going to have some banging trials, chat. Daniel Sanani looks like a player. Maurice DeVille's got the finishing. He's got the size. Hopefully he's not. He's probably terrible at everything else, but hopefully he's not. Carlos Salcedo. Hey, do you want to come to Europe at 32 years old, dude? I realize it's probably a huge jump, but Riznatovic. I thought this guy was on my short list. Is he not? We're cooking, baby. We're hitting the limit soon. Limit's 30. We're, we, we have not hit 30. 
Oh, there's a Dutch player, dude. Jetro Willems. Oh, yes. Jetro Willems. Eliza Just. He's got that widescreen format with his picture. That's for darn sure. All right, Just. Old Jetro Willems is available. Palestine, who did make the World Cup, probably had Musa Salim on their team. I don't know where he was last playing, but hey. And then South Africa in Java in Jablo Blom. Jablo Blom. I don't think he's very good. But I don't know. Gif Matupa, Malazzi, no. Scotland's John Fleck. Holy smokes. Where's this guy been? Sheffield United and then Excelsior. Oh, he's been playing. He's literally been playing in the Netherlands the last two years. He's so slow. But he's got game. City Sar. Oh, my goodness. There's four Senegalese players. Holy smokes, dude. Mamadou Sai. I don't think I'm going to Senegal for the backup goalkeepers, but you never know. You know, I, I never say never. Ibrahim Mbai. And Ngangne Fal. Was that, was that finishing that he had that in? Why do I keep looking at Fleming? Yes. Worth looking at. Definitely worth looking at. Okay. Uh, Sierra Leone, El Salvador, Enrico Hernandez. We might be at 30 now. We'll see. We're close. American Samoa. Ooh, the Surinamese players. They're not good. Uh, Slovakia's Lucas Pajek. Not at 33. Mohamed Drager. Uh, he's about to sign somewhere else, though, I think. Yeah, he's got a billion offers from better teams than us. Reva Makari, thank you for the two months. Ole, thank you so much for the 13 months. Aaron Ramsey's hanging out. Uh, can I interest anybody in Aaron Ramsey in the second division? And a couple of Tuvalu players. Lombombo Musonda. I'm huge on Zambia. I think the Zambian players are very good. I think Kings, my boy Kings, we don't we don't need we don't need that nonsense. We we know what Kings is capable of. I, I wish I could beg him for more uh conversations. Okay, hi. What do you have for me? Eight? Yeah, both those guys are leaving. Uh you want Burmeester to uh, dictate the tempo? No. Um don't worry, I'm hiring a coaching staff that will be able to take care of this. Amari Bell doesn't speak Dutch. Nicholas Souter doesn't speak Dutch. Great. Great. All right, reserve coaching staff. I am going to hire a technical director and then Ziggy leave Hi, Z. that to them. Dee -dee 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 -dee. Judging staff ability. I need even more. Guess not. Indy and Danny Viegas. That's fine. Doesn't cost a lot. We can bring him in. He can handle the youth team staff, and we don't have to worry about that because we're all about winning now. We're not developing a club for 10 years in the future. We're developing a club to win now. Hit me with the trials. Tabanadada. All right, I already know how good Tabo Nadada and Jesse Don are. Jesse Don probably could play a role in the team right now as a really solid midfielder, but we'll we'll see. Dolly Minga, they've rejected the offer, so we are gonna scout for two weeks. Hey Zed, your save this year inspired me, and I started without badges and landed a job in the Japanese J3 League. Nice. Is, they won't let me get a C license because they're afraid I'll leave the club. I've been stuck here for four seasons now, and I can't get another job without a badge. Do I just start a new save? Uh, no. Oh my, no, you don't start a new save. You're just going to have to go to a, you're going to have to go to another job if you want the license. If you don't want the license, keep building the club up. Baby surf in USA months. Z they're always, yeah. they're always going to have that fear. Okay. They're always going to have that fear. He rejected me. 
which I'm insulted, but also kind of interested, if you know what I mean. Maurice DeVille. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Olivier Cham just rejected us. Okay, Olivier. Whatever, man. I actually, I think you're an incredible player, though, so. The sky. All right, trial farm. Let's go. Trial farm time. It ain't much, but it's honest work. TJ, thank you so much for the 35 months. Hills, thank you for the three months. Plays. I belong. Oh, West Virginia. I'm managing a club and they rejected all my trial offers. Well, if they're not free, then you can't do it. Uh, you know, th then they usually get rejected. Marlos Moreno. All right, Marlos, you are not good. Uh, Injablo Boom, Rosnanovic, Willis Furtado is a dud. John Fleck is so unathletic that I think he finally doesn't have a role to play. Musanda, Mamashvili, Nurio, Ruben Providence, Ibrahim Mbai, Enrico Hernandez. No way Jetro Willems isn't good. Like, there's no way Jetro Willems is not good enough. I'm not buying that. I'll believe it when I see all of his attributes, okay? Yaroslav Shalenyi, I do, however, believe that. Abdul Al Hamdan, Ahmed Ibrahim, very unathletic. Cuban Matias de Wolf, not unathletic. Adam Barrow of Burundi or Burkina Faso. See you later, CD Sar. Collins Fi, actually not that good. Saicedo. Oh my god, Clint! Clint, 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 Clint. Clint Lehman's just rejected his two point his like three point two million dollar move. Clint, uh, I think you fear that you yourself could lead to a bigger club coming in for your services if we send you out for coaching badge. This would benefit the entire club. Uh, uh, wow. Okay, I guess I'm not getting a badge then. I'm going to be stuck in a Continental Sea badge forever. This is what that one dude was just talking about. But Yacht Rockerman, do not start a new save. Thank you for the thousand bits. Do not start a new save. Uh, if you want to leave, like if you want to progress your career, you're obviously going to have to leave. But if you don't want to progress your career and just want to dominate the J League, then who cares? Just stay there. But you don't need to start a new save. That's just, that's why we left. Like, if I could have stayed at Orlando Pirates and gotten a Continental Pro, we would have stayed and tried to become, you know, the best coach ever or whatever at that level. But, you know, our ambitions to get to the top of the game. Why can't I do a match review? Oh, because I don't have any analysts. Ah, I don't have any analysts. Right. We're hiring those. Right. We are hiring those. Okay, players. I'm going to try something else. I've never really tried this. Expired. Transfer interest. Highest reputation players. Mom and Drager. Bjorn Ingles. Where are you, Antwerp? We can build we can build a free team that can get us out uh, and get us out of this league. Curacao striker, Rangelo Janga. Yeah, you're uh, eh. Dee 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 do dee do dee do dee do dee do dee do. All right, let me build a tactic with the guys that we know are here, and then we can kind of like we we want to we want to dictate the play. We want to we want to be aggressive. I think if we're we're able to rebuild a team, I'm liking a four two three one, like an aggressive. Actually, I really loved the four three three we were playing earlier but i think we've got too many attacking midfielders to make that work uh we'll see okay so guys that are not leaving that we are we know aren't leaving uh bezot's the goal uh bezot's the goalkeeper 
Oh, okay. We are customizing the current view. We are getting rid of player status information. Getting rid of that stuff so we can freaking see. All right. Who's staying? Badger's not staying. Salvareski is staying. So Salvareski is going to hang out on the back line. You are going to be a starter now, Salvareski. Congratulations. We're very excited for you. You were definitely not a ball player, though, so you're just going to lock in, play some defense there. Uh, Bell is the wing back on the left. Do we want him taking people on? I guess he's he's all right, Amari Bell. Oh yeah, Boy Kemper's leaving. So Boy Kemper, we're waiting on the uh, the offer. Ignatovich. Do we have any other center backs that are still going to be on the team? I guess Georgie Papava, but we are. We're actively looking to move Georgie Papava, so probably not. Then there's Toby Sibic. So our center backs are Sibic and Salvareski. And then we have Amari Bell on the left. We've got Bizot in goal. Don't really have a lot of right back options. I would assume Euro Zignatovic is the guy that's supposed to be there. And he is, again, quite the explosive customer. Somebody that likes to grab the ball and push it up the field. So Euro Zignatovic. We do have Wernerson. Backup goalkeeper is Kortsmeet. Yeah. And then we have Souter. It's the other goalkeeper. Badger's on the move. Gene's on the move. Papava's on the move. Boy Kemper's on the move. Lehman's is on the move. Lindhorst is not. So Lindhorst is just here. We've still got Lindhorst. Keep Rivera? I think they're going to keep Rivera. The board's paranoid about me improving my badge. I mean, uh, like, I think we're just going to need to. We're going to need to do one of these. I'm going to try that as a basis for the tactic. Brian Rivera is of sound sound mind so we're gonna go deep lying playmaker and then where we've got burmeester too so we have lint uh, yeah in burmeester i'm actually gonna go burmeester and rivera rivera is gonna be a i wanted him to be a ball winner i'm just gonna go center mid on support burmeester is gonna be a deep lying playmaker that can receive the ball and assist in the buildup abrigo is gonna be the attacking midfielder who's gonna help us there and our pressure is mainly going to be the out and the outside because we've got some very good, uh, very good. Uh, well, we don't have very good wing backs, but we have wing back type fullbacks. <laughs> so that that's what we're working. Octapu, Facundo Castro, who we are getting rid of, so he doesn't count. Vassin stays. I don't know who our striker uh, our striker is though. Anthony Okpatu, we are moving. So we do have Paternina, and we've got Bregu, who, you know, we've signed Bregu. He's a guy that cuts it in off the left side. He's a clear, like inside forward type guy. And then right wing is well, no. Carlos Paternina is a deep lying forward on attack. So that's basically who we have. Uh, th this is our team with this on the bench. So we have a lot of building to do. There's going to be a lot of moving parts. We are going to end up with a ton of wage room. But we have a lot of building to do to make this team competitive. This is essentially what we have as a team. We will try to make the most of this. Um, Okay. 
Tin Man OP. Yeah, we just don't have a right wing. I guess the right wing is technically Vossen, but he's not really the uh he's not really the right wing, you know. But he he's technically the right wing right now. Like for the you know, for the we're playing friendlies, let's see what happens. He's the right wing. Let's just get our staff in. Let's get our squad shifted around. How long do I have? How long do I have until the first match? He says with a hint of terrifying, like, wow, we don't have a lot of time to figure this out. Hi, what's up? Uh, not a very big squad. Uh, I'm going to personally introduce myself. I know many of you may not have heard of me. I'm Zealand. I'd like to talk about our aims for the campaign here. How's the code of conduct? Do you like that? I won't be expecting any disciplinary issues. I have nothing else to talk about. All right, a happy introduction, but I, I don't really know what the club would expect from us. We've just raised the club atmosphere. We're going to uh, remove all the guys. Jonas Badger wants to start more games. Oh, wait. We actually do have a bit more depth on defense. So Jonas Badger is not somebody that wants to leave. We do have him, and he's better than Civic. And then we can actually move Civic out and have him take on more of a a I'm a defender that's playing wide sort of role, like a fullback, you know, like now I don't want to say a wing back on defend. He's is he a bad crosser? Yes. Civic is. So I I think that a fullback on defend would be a very responsible thing. And then we can just go ahead and switch these guys. So we have Burmeester on that side as the playmaker, same side as the wingback, and Rivera is just running around as well because Civic's more responsible defensively. Badger better with the ball? A little bit, yeah. Does he got a left foot? A little bit, yeah. Or I'll have him over there. Uh, inverted fullback Civic so that we push into like a back three with Burmeester in front of it when we're in possession. Not that our team's going to look like this at all because it's not. <laughs> but uh, how long have you been here? You've been here a couple of years. Would you be mad if I, he would prefer to stay, but he would be okay speaking to other clubs. Okay. Ignatovich is getting paid a lot of money, expects a ton of playing time, and I don't think he's great. So he's somebody that we would want to explore a potential transfer for. Things are getting wild. Conrad Mikalik, that is a ton of money. For a guy that I think, oh, he's so fast, though, isn't he? That's why you want him. Cancel the transfer. Why are you making that offer? We don't have the money to, we don't, where do you think the 2.4 million is going to come from? That other guy didn't leave. Oh, stop cosplaying Mourinho and check the youngsters. Yeah, I'm going to. I did forget to do that. I completely forgot to do that. <sighs> do you feel your ambitions are matched by the chairman? Yeah, I'm confident we all want the best for the club. This job, bit, the job meant a lot to me. Um, oh, the Ghana job, yeah. It hurt me to leave, but we have to focus 100%. Uh, it would have been too much. Uh, over your career, you become well-known for your distinctive brand. Every group of players brings a different set of strengths and weaknesses, honestly. Are you excited at the prospect of managing the Netherlands? I'm looking forward to it. Sometimes it takes one change to spark a turn in Fortress. They've been in a downward curve for a while. Well, we're going to turn that around. Uh, turn that around. Very pleased to have landed on my feet. You'll be able to cultivate a strong locker room atmosphere. Uh, it's imperative. We need to be unified in our approach every single day. You arrive at the club as a replacement to Merrick Ridiak, who is unable to bring success. I really hope we can bring that success back. Did you have any reservations about taking the job? Uh, no, I got no other job offer that progressed my career. So... <laughs> I knew I had to jump at this opportunity because there was no other job offer that gave me the opportunity to progress my career. That's what this did. Matt, thank you so much for the 27 months. Probably need a new attacking midfielder in case Abrigo wants to leave the club. Uh, he doesn't right now. Oh, he does. Shoot. Oh, I forgot Abrigo is one of those guys. Dang it. You're right. All right. Abrigo is removed from the team. That is a look at our team and who we have that doesn't want to leave Maseko deal negotiated we could use a winger for sure we could use a winger to Pella Maseko 75 after league appearances 
Tapella Maseko is a problem. Doesn't matter. Or, oh, he's not interested. Well, offers for uh, Georgie Papava. That's fine. What is this? Is this guaranteed income? Six six monthly installments. I'll just take the hundred fifty thousand now. I appreciate it though. He's headed back to the Georgian League. Owen Guinea. Uh, you mean five hundred thousand up front? Yes, you can. That's exactly the amount of money I said I'd let Owen Gene away for. All right, Boy Kemper. We've got Vidzev Lodz. Uh, his preferred destination is Sparta Rotterdam, but oh, 3.3 .3 million for Boy Kemper. That would be huge. Abrigo for 850,000. I don't know, man. I'm looking at like 1.9. Okay. 1.7 fancy doing business with you uh we might be able to negotiate more with Hirona, but that's jupiter pro league for 1.7 million for 31 year old uh we're gonna remove that from girona i always say Hirona for some reason i know you're in the liga dude don't play with me you're in the liga i know what you got okay you're playing with me girona was his preferred destination but you know they didn't really have the uh the cash they, they didn't really have the cash abrigo would you want to go to the other uh the other spot? Anthony Akpatu. Well, they don't want um they don't want any wage coverage, which is basically what we're trying to get rid of here is Anthony Akpatu's wage. So that's okay. Now the Facundo Castro deal. Is he in the last year of his contract? Yes. I'm gonna reject that and we're gonna offer him out for less. We're gonna do his transfer status. We're going to offer him out for 250000 And see if anybody bites with that. This is great, though, chat. We're wheeling and dealing. This is freaking awesome. This is really, really good news. Things are happening. Uh, oh, Girona. How the turntables, Girona. You didn't want to make that offer initially, but now you're offering me $2 million? But now you offer me $2 million. On the day of my daughter's wedding, you offer me $2 million. <laughs> oh, yeah. So Joe Abrigo for $2 million. Boy Kemper for $3.3 million. David Zivloj. We don't know if he's going to accept that. Georgi Papava. Uh, Jonas Badger. I don't want to sell Jonas Badger. He wants more playing time, but... I think he's got more to offer at the club, personally, so I'm going to reject that, which he won't be mad about, hopefully. Everybody else, Papava, Boy Kemper, Owen Guinea, Joe Abrigo, Anthony Akpatu. That's good. So Abrigo, Kemper, Abrigo, Kemper. We didn't get any Clint Lehman's offer. Okay, chat, we're going to go to the youth team in a second. There's just a lot of transfer, but chat. Oh, no. Brian Salvareski wants to leave. He was one of the four. So it's Abrigo, Kemper, Lehmans, Salvareski. Papava and Akpotu, deals already agreed. Jonas Badger wants to start more games. Well, with uh, Brian Salvareski leaving, then we're definitely going to be up a creek without the proverbial paddle. Now, Prince in their head of youth science or head of sports science, Timba Maleke. And now we go to the youth clubs, chat. Now we go to the youth clubs. Thank you. So we have a reserves in a U18s. There are a ton of wonder kids down here. Convince Salvareski to stay. How do you do that? I realize that's probably a foolish... Uh, oh, yeah, wants to leave the club. All right, let's try it. Hi, uh, to be honest, new head coach, need to be playing at a higher level after our relegation. What will it take to keep you here? My heart is set on leaving, and it's not going to change. Uh, you have a release clause in your contract? What is it? Ah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Somebody triggers that, then 100%, dude. Private chat, um, release clause. Dude, if somebody offers 1.1 million for you, Brian, I am over the moon. 
I'm over the moon. I can find another center back with that quality for that money. I can. Probably better. That's totally fine. Salvareski hands in transfer requests. He's gone. Boy Kempers, we're getting great money. Georgie Popava, I don't care. Joe Abrigo, we're getting great money for Joe Abrigo. Club's about to be super financially healthy, actually. He just I, I went to the youth team and just left it immediately. Did you love that? Did you absolutely love how I went to the youth team and then left it immediately? Is that driving you crazy? <laughs> just went to the youth team and I'm like, ah, I'm gone. Uh, that's enough. Okay. So there are some very talented players down here. We have th this guy, Ongba. Not great. He's not great. Uh, he's also 23, getting paid 70000 a year. I don't like him. Um, I don't like him at all. We're going to offer him out. Also, you should be, if you're rated two and a half stars by whoever we have doing the rating, you should be in the first team. Tino Kaufman. It's not getting paid much. He's fine. Liam Cromintrin. Why? Honestly, me playing in the Netherlands is just going to be a nightmare for anybody that is able to actually speak Dutch. It's going to be a waking nightmare. But this this guy fully deserves to be in the senior team. Leon Cromenchen, the 18-year-old. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. I'm liking some of the sauce here. Bert Van Dalen. We've got a 17-year-old in the U18s who's got that five-star potential. I can't get no. And then Ishan Bagos. I'm getting strong Lella Mella bad boy vibes from Ikshan Bagas. He's a pace merchant with determination and a, just a brilliant mindset. Uh, it's, I mean, like he's a wing, he's an out and out winger. I'm not, I'm not trying to make him something he's not. <laughs> I can get no. All right, let me look at the squad contracts. Why on earth is Teen Troost getting $100,000 a year? Why on earth is Teen Troost getting $100,000 a year? Gil, Jones, we are a poverty club. We can't afford all of these guys. Satisfaction. Do, do, do. All right, we're going to... No. No, I don't like it. U18s, there is a very large number of very talented players very clearly in our U18s. We've got those guys. We've got Joost Van Vliet. Do, 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 I think, do, do we want to bring up Bert Vandalen? I mean, honestly, he's our starting attacking midfielder right now. And Ishan Bagas is an important part of the first team as well. So we're going to bring both those guys up. Um, do, 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 do. Bert Van Dalen, he is in the starting 11, and Bagos is on the bench right now. That's who we've got. And then we've got Ongba. Aime Ongba. Except we are trying to sell him, so I don't want to confuse us too much. But we have Bagus, We have Kaufman from the youth teams. We've brought up a couple of the young guys. Van Dalen's going to be part of the preseason. Honestly, Bagus should, uh, should be playing that right wing spot. Winger on support, setting people up, using that athleticism. Awesome. You uh, don't forget Crum and Tween. I did forget Crum and Tween, unfortunately. Set piece coach hired Kosanati Hadebe. Uh, Crum and Tween. Where, why was he not? Where is Crum and Tween? Did I not bring up Crum and Tween? I did bring up Crum and Tween. I just forgot to move him onto my bench. That's what you're talking about. Yeah, Crum and Tween's better than Vidalin. I just forgot Crum and Tween there. 
All right, yes. Chromantween, better than Vandalen. Very competent first team level player, Leon Chromantween. Chromantown. Okay, so that his name is Chromantown. We will learn. It will be slow, but we will learn. No, I know knock is an abbreviation, and honestly, I don't think I'm ready for the expert level that's required to be able to say the actual name of my club. Chromantown. Chromantown. That's serviceable? Okay. Chromantown. We're looking for serviceable. We're getting transfer offers. We like to we like to see that. Recommend me a signing. Clint Lehman's offer from Charleroi valued at 2.8 million. Can I get that money up front? So no. Intriguing. Uh, I'm going to go with a 2.5 million offer out now that I have an idea about what people might be interested in offering. Uh, Mardach Hidiga. Who's offering this? St. Louis Sport something? Okay. They sound fun. Do, 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 do. There you go. Take him. No offers for Euroj Ignatovich. Yeah, because he's freaking bad, dude. Do, 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 do. I'm going to transfer this. Euroj Ignatovich. Send him out. All right. Uh, Adu Erez has rejected a contract offer from Nakbreda. Ah, so that's the guy they were trying to sign, but they under-offered his... So basically all of the contracts that we just sent out were super low and bad offers. But it's slowly coming together. Remember when, when we're absolutely running people over? Just remember where we were when we were putting this team together. Without a lot of players searching through the youth teams to find players that can help the first team. Just remember where we were. Zuki, thank you so much for the seven months, dude. I appreciate it. Super important poll. Oh, what is it? What should Zeeland do with the Dutch pronunciation? Have I all on speed dial? Try his best. Silent stream. Silent stream. Or deliberately butcher it. That's also an option. An option that we are criminally overlooking, obviously. Do, 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 do. Head performance analyst Ingo van Nauvenhusen. Nauvenhusen. Ingo van Nievenhusen. Nievenhuizen. Nievenhuizen. Your words, your letters don't make the noise that they make for me. All right. Ingo van Neuenhausen. New New Neuenhausen. Okay. Ingo van Neuenhausen. Or is Ingo wrong too? Neuenhausen. Okay. So not Neuenhuizen, Neuenhausen. It do. Hold on, I gotta. I'm I'm in charge of logistics, which I never should be. Uh, can ask. I just remember that it's the eyes and the e's and the e's are the eyes. Eyes are e's, e's are eyes. Oh, it's simple. Dutch is a fake language. <laughs> yeah, I'm on board with that. Dutch is definitely a fake language. They made this up to make me suffer. That's what happened. Who's close to signing for me? One of the contracts they sent out to somebody wasn't terrible. Like, what is this guy's deal? Like, what do we, why is he here? George Agararu. Okay, George Agararu is a scout, so we... The staff came together really quickly, which is nice. Silva is one of the recruitment analysts. The staff came together. We're actually going to be fairly financially healthy after all of these transfers. We're going to build back a better team financially. We're going to make Knock a healthy team that is able to get up to the top flight and then make it work. So Artiaga 
We can go ahead and cancel the scouting. Wasn't that great anyways. He signed with somebody else. So what active transfers in are still there? So there's the Gungor deal. Oh, holy. Thank you. All right. Adler. Adler, you want to say hey? This, if you watch the Feral Islands video, there's Adler, the other half of the team. He was just bringing me lunch. This is what just happened. Thanks. Also, tell mom to uh, talk to Kale. Okay. Yeah. Wait, what? Just, just say that. She'll know what it means. Adler rocks. Adler does rock. He just brought me some shaken beef. Already dropped half of it on my lap. Already dropped half of it on my lap. Beef. Shaken nuts. It is literally called shaken beef. It's like a Vietnamese restaurant. It's good. All right, so Tony Villa, we have no idea whether they're going to like that deal or not. And then, of course, this Burke guy, Burke Gungor from VVV Venlo. Okay, do we have our full scouting staff now? Yes, so I can put together our recruitment focuses. We have our full coaching staff. So I'm going to do this first because I'm more liable to forget this. So goalkeeping there. Defending, we're going to need our reserves coaches to be decent at this, actually. Okay, so reserve head coach is Van Loon. He is a decent defensive coach. You do that. I mean, it is very heavy. I'm going to try and take the load off, obviously. We got a bunch of guys here on trial, which is problematic. I am going to attempt to assist with literally everything. We've got our two attacking coaches... Do, 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 do. Eight months. Holy crap. Not a lot of quality in the coaching right now. But that's the best we can do. Okay. Oh, trial farming, how beautiful you are. Scouting. Recruitment focus. Don't care about that. All right, any any position of any kind. Uh, we are looking for loan players specifically. This is loans. Any age, anything. Just players that would be feasible loans for us. Any position. Uh, improve the team. Do, 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 do. I'm going to assign two scouts to that. And then there's the end of contract. Free dudes. Yay. Let me put a little enthusiasm in there. Free dudes. Yay. Free dudes, uh, transfer further detail, contract, status. We're actually going to go with expiring, or is literally expired, just to help us find people. So I have, a, I have more scouting opportunities. Um, so I'm looking for people that play in the front four, specifically. Forwards. Guys that would be viable options for us that are cheap. Okay, those are our focus. We've got forwards, loans, free dudes, improve the team. Should use our whole scouting department to do that. Uh, we also have our short lists, which we are going to attempt to keep up to date here. We've got a lot of South African guys that might be able to help us, but also guys from around the world that once those reports are caught up on, we're gonna be we're gonna be cooking. Blendy Adrizi. Not fun. Okay, contracts. We'll sort by the playing time thing and look for guys that, well, I, I don't think they've been here long enough for us to really know anything. Yeah. 
Unfortunately, back to my shaken beef. All right, hopefully we get another good offer for Lehman's. That dude could definitely make us a lot of money from a transfer. Brian Rivera, he's one of the few guys that doesn't want to leave. Why would I? Now, why on earth would I do that? He's one of the few guys that doesn't want to leave. But you know the good news, I can't actually do, um, really? Everybody knows this dude's a joke. Find a new club. He wants to find a new club. No, I'm happy here. Oh, he's not happy here. That would be the issue. Uh, no longer my plans. Think it's in your best interest to pursue a new uh, pasture. Yep. Brian Selvareski. Find a new club. He's ready to leave. He's ready to rock and roll. So instead of the release clause, let's see if we can get a million for Selvareski. I know that's asking a lot, but... Tony Villa didn't sign with us either, so all their negotiations were terrible. They, like, failed all of them. We'll take any money we can get. St. Putin from uh, Austria want to pay $45,000 for Aime Yongba. Also gets Aime Yongba's wage off the books. Okay. I'm just clapping for no reason. Yeah, whoever the caretaker manager was, terrible negotiating skills. Really, teen truce to nothing. See, I didn't want to do this, but I am going to offer him out for zero dollars. Gilles Johnny. Okay, that's a zero dollar offer out. Anybody that wants him. You can have him. Especially Troost, I need to convince you to leave. Yane, I want to convince you to leave. You aren't my plans. I think the best choice is to... Really? You're waste... Uh, you, okay. He does not want to get involved no matter what. Rivera? Was he on a loan list or something? He's transfer listed. Ah, oh, well, you see, I, I don't want to do that. Because I need players. And so I don't want to sell Brian Rivera, but I understand why you were confused. Is there anybody else on the transfer list that I am unaware of? Paternina. Totally didn't. Well, I think I'm the one that put him there, but for right now, let's not. Uh, Fkundu Castro, Juroj Ignatovich, and Brian Salvareski's there by request, of course, and so we're going to move him. Because our boy, oh, Sibic is going to move in. And then Ignatovich is going to take the wide spot. Yeah, this is a great team, dude. This is great. We've got so many guys. Most of them for my youth teams. So when's the season start? Eight days. Okay, the season starts in eight days. It, it starts in eight days, chat. Uh, the season begins in eight days. Oh, boy. <clears throat> eight days. We're fine. We're fine. Will we have our full first team by the time that we get to that match? No. No, no, we will not. Will we have a good team by the end of the transfer window? Yes. Yes, we will. We will have a good team by the time we get to the transfer window.
Do, 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 do. All right, Olivier Chum. I have all the money you need. You want to be an advanced playmaker? I can make you a star. And I will give you a we don't get promoted. Match highest earner clause. Yeah, that's fine. Team of the year bonus. Yeah, that's fine. That's how much money I can give you. Season combined goal and assist bonus. This guy, yeah, he's reading my mind here. Non-promotion release clause of zero dollars. Just came back and locked the match highest earner clause. All right, uh, let's try that then. Honda, thank you so much for the eight months. Thanks for supporting the stream. Uh, sure. Olivier and Chum. I, he's one of those guys that we can trust is just a very good player relative to our team. For sure. Uh, Al Sanati, we definitely have room for him and DeVille and Raven Rosario and Musa Salim, who I think were kind of bumped out earlier by our, our trialing rules, but. Are you kidding me? Rivera got unsettled. I don't have any players. I literally don't have any players. He wants to move to the Real Cartagena in Colombia. Oh, um, okay. Let me, hi. Disappointed he blocked the move. Be a great chance to become a more important part of a squad. Uh, what would it take for you to be here? You just said you wanted to become a more important part of a squad. I want you to start for me, Brian. Reasonable amount. Yeah, if they offer 600K, you can go. If they offer 600K, you can go. If they offer 600K, you can go. Okay, we'll see if we need him. If we don't need him, we will try to move him because we do, you know, vibes are very important in a club that was just relegated. We got to make sure the vibes stay high. So Raven Rosario, not not that dude. Musa Salim, not that dude. Uh, Andre Alcinati, decent. Morris DeVille, not that dude. So we managed to clear those guys out. Got to put my match reviews in for my final friendly. Dear God. I'm in trouble. Yeah, what's the question? Uh, okay, those guys are gone. No offers for Ignatovic and Clint Lehmans. Really, we got no offer for Lehmans. I find that hard to believe. Euro Zignatovic, I don't find that hard to believe at all. There are teams that are interested in a transfer, but they are absolute poverty teams. Go ahead, Eagles, ADO, Den Haag. Would you like to spend $50,000 on my boy Euro Zignatovic? That's his asking price. That's what we're offering him out for. He's all yours. Rivero with a loan to Once Caldas. No. Top half finish. I right, don't really change. Really, their expectations only top half finish? Well, I mean, they probably looked at our team and they're like, you have four players. <laughs> you have four players. Uh, hmm. Do we have any strikers on this list? Abdullah Alhamdan? God, he's so average. He's such an average player. Abdullah Alhamdan. Play playing at Al Halal the last six years. We're gonna make the move into the Netherlands. Let's 
These guys are trash. Jetro Willems might actually be that bad also, obviously. Uh, he was always going to be that bad because we already knew he was that bad. Bjorn Ingles. Huh. All right, players. Whoa, William True Seekong. I do not think we can actually compete for your signature at all. What do you want? I will give you the highest earner clause. Top division promotion salary raise, 40%. No relegation salary drop or optional contract extension. Team of the year bonus, assist bonus, goal bonus. We'll throw all those in there. Oh, hell, I'll give you $100,000 if you win team of the year, and that should be pretty easy. Non-promotion release clause, $0. We're not far away. I don't think he'll sign with us even if we are able to win this. Because this, this dude just does not belong on our team. Domestic clubs, higher division, $5 million. You don't think that's unreasonable? Okay, I mean, we're working on this. Been going back through ODFC save. Cool to see how long the bacon has been cooking. Match highest earner, sell on fee, 5%. Relegation release clause, also zero. Not negotiable. Okay, we managed to get an offer that William Truce Kong would consider. That does not mean he is going to accept it. But we managed to get an offer on the table that he is willing to consider. <sighs> All right, that's good. Abdul Rahman Garib. I need wingers. Why am I uh, who am I to discriminate? Get in here, Abdul Rahman. Abdul Radif. Why is everybody from Saudi Arabia suddenly super down to come here? Like, what's. What was the motivating factor? Joachim Van Dam. Well, this guy is slow. Hmm. Da, 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 Dennis Budinski. Well, he doesn't want anything. Is that they're all leaving because they don't want to play against Ronaldo? But yeah, they're all being pushed out by the actual players that are going into the league. They're like, man, we got to play somewhere. This is getting ridiculous, you know? This is absurd. Patrick Greels playing at Reindorf Altosh. Oh, this dude was at uh, Rapid Vienna for a little while. Should at least be decent. Perfect. Hey, Max, thank you for the 45 months. Holy smokes, dude. We're in the weeds right now. We are battling. Bellasani, he's so slow. Abdul Gib uh, Gibare. No, Senegalese player Noel Suma. Where are you playing, Emin? Oh, you'd be a nice pickup. A lot of these guys were like, oh, and I happen to have been playing in the Netherlands. Ah, uh, yes, of course. All right, international, international, international youth appearances. Baby, that's a fact. Everything. Okay, I can't go above two. Oh, no, we just yeeted to eight. Got it. Five. You're here, pretty. And meet me tonight in Atlantic City. Henry Vaca. 
of Bolivia. All right, anybody else? 154 players. Argentina's Adrian Martinez, 34. Not exactly what we're looking for. A lot of Austrians. Samuel Sain Rodlinger. Oh, it's goalkeeper. Never mind. We're looking for a real high-level national team. Czechia, you're probably not cutting it. Denmark, Dalsgar, we already knew about. There we go. Like Jose Rodriguez. This dude has six youth caps for Spain. There's no way he's not good. I don't I won't believe it. Well, these guys are just super old, playing at a low level, having a good time. Manolos, we've got him. Almo Bayo. That's a decent 20-year-old Ghanaian right there, Almo Bayo. All right, all right. Jamaica, Kevon Wilson. Kim's retiring, although we keep running into him. Every Liechtenstein youth player ever interested in the transfer. Ryan Burberry. Oh, 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 look at that. 22-year-old attacking midfielder from Luxembourg. Umar Diallo. Maybe not. Latvia, Morocco. Marijuana Sebar. I actually, he's got a chance to be a real decent player at the in the ranges that we're looking at. Rada El Melani. I mean, we need right backs. The Netherlands has two. Ruben Ligion. Oh, terrible. Uh, Nigeria does have Larry Coyote who is available for free if he's looking to find one last glorious run. Poland's Adam Zvigala. This is so... We have... I don't know. We have to put this team together so fast because of when we got the uh, job. Pajek, Ursula, Mejaros. No, Alzar Kas... Aljaz Kassar is under a hip injury for the next two months. Those are usually great sleepers. Nobody else is interested in them because they're currently super hurt. Farhad Ayaz. So Farhad Ayaz, you've got Karim El Abed, Syrian Rogan Durbo, Karim El Abed, Tunisian Youth International. You, uh, Griffin Yao. I have no idea who this guy is, but it looks like he might be a decent player. Aaron Ramsey's obviously already with us, and Ukrainian left back. Alexander Drumbayev looks way, 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 way too good. He looks way too good. All right, who rejected? I know somebody rejected. Oh, they accepted. Kareem El Abed rejected. Well, that's an annoying guy to have reject. All right, everybody else is down, though. Everybody else is joining our unbelievably large training sessions to try and find good players. Merowin Sabar, Abdullah Radif. That he hates big matches. Why always me? Yao scored the other day. Oh, nice. Shout out to Griffin Yao. Mm. Frost, thank you for supporting the stream, my dude. I appreciate the 17 months. Schwafta, thank you for the 31. Yeah. RNA skip tags, thank you for the 13. I appreciate uh, all of that. Enjoy your bacon. I'll see you in the subsection of the Discord. Hey, big matches, what does that mean? So I want you to think about, like, you know, dice games. Like, when a match starts, a player has their ability, but then when a match starts, a die is rolled. And there's a bunch of extenuating factors from their professionalism to their consistency to their mood to their current form. But that die is rolled and will determine what level that player is going to play at that day. And if they hate big matches... It's, if you've ever played like Dungeons and Dragons or Baldur's Gate, it's like rolling with disadvantage, basically. They're just more likely to be bad.
There we go. Salelo Razebocha. I don't know if I see it, though. They're saying he's like an amazing player. I've got to kind of wait. Because I would have been playing in the league against that guy last year, and I don't really remember it. Now, Abdul Rahman Garib. I'm on board. I'm on board with Abdul Rahman Garib. I'm going to get him a contract. Oh, my goodness, Abdul Rahman. Oh, my goodness, Abdul Rahman. Abdul Rahman? Abdul Rahman? Domestic clubs in higher divisions, 5 million. Sell on fee percentage, 5% locked. Um, avoid relegate. No. Um, relegation release clause, non promotion release clause, both zero. Abdul Rahman, it didn't move that much, man. I'm going to be honest. That makes me a little sad. It didn't move that much. I will give you a goal bonus of 6.75K every time you pop a goal in. Your appearance fee is down. I'll give you 100,000 if you make team of the year. And I'll give you 4.3 every time you don't play. I'll also give you 135 if you get to 20 assists on the year because then we definitely got promoted. Then I'll drop this to 4 million. Abdul Rahman, come on, Garib. Come on, Abdul Rahman. Come on. I'll give you 10%. No, that's brutal. <laughs> I'll give you a 2.5 million higher division release clause, non-negotiable. I'll give you the biggest bonus we can for team of the year, and I'll give you 135,000 each time you hit that threshold. Oh, I need to be stopped. Somebody restrain me. How does he do it? How does he do it? That guy did not want to be here, but I will tell you he will be here. He was like, really? Is this the only offer we have? And I'm like, yes, this is the only offer we have. You must be here. And he's like, all right, fine. Now we start working our match reviews, you know, since we have literally, we, we just played our last friendly before the season starts, which is beyond terrifying, which is why I'm making, normally do not make these, this is like, this is like the advanced course. Do not make these offers. I'm only doing it because <laughs> we need players before this freaking season starts. That's why I'm doing this. So Abdul Rahman Garib, Olivier and Cham, and William Trusty Kong, who is not going to say yes, are all here. Uh, responsibilities. We do, oh wait, we do have our staff here, so I can just kind of do this now. Uh, reserve staff. I'm going to take control of that. Delegate the U18s entirely to my, not my general manager. My, uh, really? Oh, do I not have my technical director? No, I do. They're just they're just giving it to the wrong guy. Oh, once one guy has it, then they're like, ah, uh, my technical director handles coaching courses and that. I'm going to handle the reserve team because that actually affects my first team. I should literally go do that right now. Oh, shoot. All right. We're going to take control and we're going to go through and delegate. And then we are going to keep control of the rest of that. Beautiful. It's always a wonderful day when you finally have your staff together. Recruitment advice. All righty. I'm going to take George Agaruu. Provide scout feedback. Matisse Hodge, you're that bad? Yep. My general manager that bad? Yep. We have to live with both of them. So can I just get... Scout feedback from George. Thanks. Player development advice. Jejan Radoncic, provide player reports. I don't think my head of you... Oh, dude, I did not. I did not just do that. Okay, Oguruu, Radoncic, confirm. And then I go to coaching staff, and I go to head to youth development, and you are not good enough. So we go to mental attributes. Judging player ability and potential, Sebastian Pudziali, if we have the option, if not Radoncic. Got it. 
got it. We don't have the options. So it's Chazon Radoncic, Youth Development Information, Head of Youth Development, and provides loan feedback. Uh, actually want, I think it's Tim Mattis, who is it? Yeah. Tim Mattis has great judging player potential. That's what we want from our loan feedback. Coaching feedback, uh, yes, Roger Maholik. Staffing feedback, Danny Viegas, sweet. Scouting, um, Find scout feedback. All oh, right, I want to agree on that. Assigning scouts, I take control of that. I thought I already would have, but yeah. Sweet. Okay. We're sailing. Staff transfers contracts. Let me uh, I handle all that. I handle all that. Offers out. Salary percentage. Playing time regular starter. Sweet. Media, I do not handle any press conferences, except for new signing press conferences. I'm here for those. Training is not my thing, not in the senior team. <sighs> Okay, and then matches themselves. I do not lead us in friendly matches. I don't arrange friendlies. Actually, they do because they notify me when there's like a winter break coming up or something. And set pieces. Handle set piece taker list. Handles team set piece personnel list. Maintains the priority list. Yes, do that. It's actually a good thing to not give away. We've got our set piece coach for that. This is what he does. Okay, now youth team, or reserve team. This might seem useless, but this is actually also going to uh, determine. So we have two coaching spots left and a head coach spot. So we can get two technical coaches in with the reserve team that are immediately going to help. Uh, but obviously, they're going to technically work with the reserve team, but they're also going to work with the senior team, which is going to dramatically reduce the workload that we have as a team which is very important. So we're going to do all that, put all that at 10. And then we're going to add a fourth. All right. Uh, mental. Do, 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 do. All right. You guys good at anything else? Nope. Sick. Frederick Eliasson, you are... You're, you're a keeper. Definitely want you, Frederick Eliasson. Okay. The other guys, not quite. So we're going to go down to mental 14. Guess he can do technical. He's still good. Jacob Berg. Hey, do you want to join the team? Reserves uh, coach would be great. Remove that. Bump that. Jacob Berg. Sweet. Now we're looking for a head coach. This is somebody that just has good determination, discipline, and motivating so that they can sub in as a uh, as a backup. Ludovic Tollender, going to be a terrible coach at everything, so we want to go down a little farther. Maybe find somebody that's not so bad at doing stuff. Like you, Petrich Nagoya. You want to be the assistant coach. That is a bit of an issue. It's like, no, pay me 100000 a year. I'm like, cool, I will. Cool, that helps uh, alleviate some of our training issues. That'll be good. It's better to get your Wonder Kids, the senior squad, and available for the U18s, 20s, or keep them in the youth team setup. Uh, Jets, so we actually tested that two years ago. Um, the the main takeaway is that if you think they're going to, like, really, if you want to bring them up to the first team, they need to play in the first team. Because... If you bring them up to the first team and have them available for the U18s, then they're missing training on all the days that they're U18 matches, and they're also missing training on all the day they're senior matches. Because in the youth team, if they're not playing on the day of a senior match, they're having training. So you add that up, you're talking about like over 30 training sessions per year that that player is missing because you have them in the senior team while playing every U18s match. So while development is better if they're in the first team, you don't want to also be making them available for every U18s match. Usually that's just kind of for fitness 
or if the match is on the same day or like the day before or after a match where the training's less important, you can totally get away with it. Oh, great. Kian Vason's gotten an offer uh, that he would be upset if we turned down. Total value of which is about 375. We're going to go for 600, and he's going to. Oh, they took it right away. All right. Kian Vason. We're actually going to end up rebuilding the entire team, are we? We are going to end up rebuilding the entire team. Oh, joy. All right, Hedinga's loan. Pretty most straightforward piece of club business we've done. Goalkeeping coach. Oh, they signed a reserve goalkeeping coach. I so shouldn't have said yes to that. Can I go back in time? Oh, that just screwed me so hard. Wow. I just accidentally clicked on that, and there's no way to go back on it. Ew, that hurt. All right. Uh... Hey, can you give me more coaching staff now that we're, like, financially healthy? Uh, the board have relinquished control of player sales. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of the point. Um, <laughs> that's kind of what we're doing here. I didn't know you had control over the player sales. Oh, they just increased the number of coaches? Really? No way, dude. Let's go. They just, uh, they, I did totally did not expect them to do that, but they absolutely just increased the number of coaches. Vitterson. Oh, he's brilliant. He's a brilliant coach. Arner Thor Vitterson. Please join my coaching staff, Arnold Thor Vitterson. Please. We desperately need you in our coaching staff. I just made him an error and accidentally put the wrong guy, and it was terrible. Every single negotiation that the guy that was here before me attempted failed. Every single one failed. Every single one. The last one just came through, failed. Who's still here? We can make the captain. Uh, the captain. Clint Lehman's is the current captain. Yeah, but he literally wants to leave. Which means Marco Bezo, the 35-year-old goalkeeper, is going to be the captain. Warren Lehman's about... Uh, I want to let you know I'm considering taking the captaincy away from you. Um, negative effect on too many players, wielding too much power. We need to rub off poorly. Your unhappiness beginning to affect the positive locker room atmosphere. Uh, there are better options. Yeah, he's like, cool, dude. I'm leaving. I don't care. Uh, Boy Kemper also has a transfer accepted for him. So it's really about trying to find somebody that's going to still be here, which I believe Roy Kortsmit does meet that requirement. He's my backup goalkeeper. Ishan Bagos, Rai, Kian Vazen's leaving, Joe Brigo's leaving, Jonas Badger's here. Dude, they're all so bad. Brian Rivera, uh, Boy Kemper's the current vice captain. Um, uh, due to the uncertainty surrounding your future, I'm planning on removing you as vice captain. Uh, Brian Rivera is going to be the vice captain for me. 
There's nobody else here. This is so wild, dude. Yeah, I'm removing you. Uh, there's nobody else here. Jabula Bloom, he's going somewhere else. I don't really like him anyways. He's going to Bastia. All right, cool. We're going to terminate his trial. Looks like the information's starting to come in from our trials, so we make like a more educated decision. Bjorn Ingles. Quality ball playing center back with good jumping reach. Um, I'm interested to know how much they would want. Compete for places. He doesn't want a crazy wage. I stalled out. This is agent. Most of these agents I'm mean, gonna have no relationship with at all. So it's regarded as a very impatient negotiator. All right, sick. Um, we do need guys. Like it's kind of important that we just sign players. Uh, we have Civic. We've got Yignautovic. But if we sign another center back, that does give us access to you know players. Um, players are nice. Players are very nice. Let's do that. Uh, uh, Noel, Noel Suma is the other option. I guess we'll wait a little bit. Ibrahim Mbai. It's like the, the guy's probably not going to be there for the first game anyways. Ibrahim Mbai from the Senegalese national team most recently at Groningen. He is suspended. The first match. I doubt that guy's actually that good. I really doubt it. Svigala, El Malaini, Marwan Sabar, Abdullah Radif. We need a striker. I'm very tempted to just offer this guy a contract right now. Because we, we don't have, like, a guy that can score goals on the team. It's him or Abdullah Alhamdan. How much would Abdul Alhamdan want? If he wants that crazy money, we're not going to give it to him. He wants a good amount of money. He wants enough money that it makes me uncomfortable that I don't want to jump through hoops to sign him right now. 25-year-old Haitian, Ruben Providence. Doesn't like big matches, but I, I like him. He can pass the ball pretty well. He controls it pretty well. He's got pretty good athleticism. He plays both wings very comfortably. Has international experience. Has plenty of senior club experience as well. Nothing viable on the loan front. Uh, we just don't have a raw... Like, we would need to loan in... We, we need to sign players and loan players. You know what I mean? Like, we don't have a roster where it's like, yeah, we've got a few holes. The hole is the roster. It's just a giant hole. Mm -hmm. But I suppose it'd be a good idea for us to do this. It'd be remi it would be remiss of me. Not to check the loan list for maybe players that we are aware of. Uh, Armor Ward is... Wait, is that... Did I put listed for... Tra oh, I didn't put any listed on. 21-year-old Erica Flatter. Flatocker. Ah, Flatocker. Mika Peters, Micah Peters. I suppose this is kind of the dream, though. It's just unfortunate that we're having to do this the week before the season, but this is the dream. We're coming in with an opportunity to remake the club, sign our own guys. Friend of mine, take it easy. All 
This Evan Rotundo character looks decent, but once again, no goal scoring acumen whatsoever. What do they want? Oh, his wage is monstrous, too. That is monstrous for us. All right, we'll pop a few scouting moves on. Let's see if we can get these signings in first. Squid, thank you for the two months. Pixel, thank you so much for the prime. Thank you for supporting the stream, my dudes, and I appreciate you doing it with $5 of Jeff Bezos money. You're doing you're doing good for the world there. Knock Brad are interested in Alhamdan. Yes, I am aware that you would not like to play here. I am aware of that. Okay, there is nobody that wants Euros Ignautovic. We may win. Hey, Ignatovic. He's like, I don't want to leave. Now he's emboldened. Uh, Clint Lehmans, you do want to leave. You were the other guy? Oh, wow. Now all of a sudden the interest in Clint Lehmans is dried up, and the fact that we were originally going to get $3 million for him isn't great. This is awesome. Joe Abrigo is moving to Girona for $2 million, and that gives us a war chest and frees up some wage budget, and he wanted to leave after we got relegated, so now he's leaving. The board already thought you already relinquished control of player sales, but apparently they're just going to continue to relinquish control of player sales. Totally fair. We're going to add a little to the payroll budget. Oh, that payroll cost is hot. You only crazy all right we're vacationing for a hot sec just a mini vacay nothing crazy just wanted to be able to continue thanks <laughs> georgie papava is leaving and the wage continues to open up see you later georgie he's headed to dinamo batumi kavisha kvarch kelly his old team in georgia see you later Hey, guess what? The board relinquished control of player sales. Stop me if you've heard that before. I think that's just going to be a glitch. Like every time we uh, we move a player, they're going to be like, hey, guess what? <laughs> the board have relinquished control of player sales. So why does this dude not want to try with me? Like why he's just too stubborn? Tony Villa, Conrad, Michalik. Mikalak. Oh, yeah. Why are we signing this guy? He's like a worst Apella Maseko for $3 million. That's a uh, terrible decision. That is a terrible decision you were about to make. All right. Henry Vaca is okay. He's not great. But he's free. That That's the point everybody's getting at. Unlike those other guys, he is free. Okay, now we've got player recommendations from our staff, guys that they believe that we should deal with. Zeal find out about wage rules in two seasons? What? I saw somebody say something about like a minimum wage rule or something. He's not free. His wage requirement is hot. Yeah. Well, look, the hot, the, the guys we're bringing in are worth the money we're giving them. They have a minimum wage that's very high. Where? where? I'm not saying I'm not saying that they don't, but where? It's for non EU. I, okay, yeah, I know, I know. It's down low. I mean, we're we're as low as we can go, dude. This is that we are down low. This is down. This is as low as it goes. It's not here.
Maybe it's only in the era of EZ. Yeah, maybe. Let's let's look. Let's look. Let's look. Era of EZ. Let's like see if it says anything. But it doesn't say anything here either. That's disciplinary rules, TV contract, transfer windows, very straightforward. Transfer and registration just has to do with loans in and out. Chat's tripping. They, I, I think they are. It's not there. That doesn't mean that it's not in the game, but all the guys that we're signing have just been asking for so much money that it doesn't matter because they're too good to be on the team we're trying to sign them for. So, you know, for that purpose, it doesn't really matter, whatever they're doing. You piece of... You piece of garbage. Dude, rejecting me? Oh, we play Eindhoven. I'm excited! I can't wait to play with, like, a youth team. It's going to be great. Bro, the three offers we have out. There we go. Record transfer income. We made over $7 million. Financial status, still just okay, but we have another big deal that we're working on. Olivier Incham is here. That's sweet. Iro did a... All right. Owen Gene is gone. Uh, fantastic. You know, have good luck at your next club. Anthony Akpatu is gone. Good luck at your next club. We have, we're, we're dumping the wage of these bad signings they've made. And we are bringing in serious star Olivier and Ch Oh boy, why did I have to sneeze? Oh, so Gene is gone. Uh, Akpatu is gone. Olivier and Chom is here, and he is good. He is here. He's worth serious money. He's got creativity. He can open up a defense. He's a fantastic player relative to the rest of our team. And we are very happy he's here. Uh, I know. I'm one. Do 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 Olivier in Cham. <clears throat> Beautiful. Who else is close? Frederick Eliasson as a reserves coach. Yep. Sign him up. And Abdul Rahman Garib, baby. This is all right. Cross your fingers and toes because we're pretty sure this guy is really good for this league, but we are not entirely sure. And so we basically just sent a giant contract at Abdul Rahman Garib. Let's see. Let, 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 uh, let's see. Yeah. You know, let's see. Let's see what happens here. Let's see what happens. Uh, okay. Abdulrahman Garib. Be good. Be good. Be good. Be good. Okay. He looks, we, you know, if he was three stars, I would have been immediately bothered, but he's three and a half. So that's good. Let's welcome him to the club. Uh, let's get him, tra we'll get him training in a position in a second. Okay, he's good. He's good. His technique hit very low, but his athleticism hit very high. It's good ball carrying, good crossing, generally dangerous player. He's good. He's a good player. He is certainly the best winger that we have, which is what we were trying to add with the amount of money we spent, right? We're spending about a million a year in total wage contributions on Abdul Rahman Garib. He's going to have to be a good player for us this year. So he is in. His athleticism rolled high. His technique rolled low. We came out with basically what we were hoping for. He takes the right wing spot while Bregu stays cutting in off the left. 
Abdurrahman Garib, he's got wiggle, he's got separation, good passer, good crosser. Um, we're going to have him just float and be a winger on support on that right side. Happy with that. Happy with that. So William Troost Ekong, if he signs with us, I'll be ecstatic. We don't expect him to. If he does, we will be super excited. All right, we've added two of our three coaches. We need one more coach to join us, and then we will have our full coaching staff. Abdul Al Hamdan and Bjorn Ingels. I know I'm thinking about it. Uh, two off uh, offers for two players. So Brian Salvareshi. I don't want to. I, I, I uh, you know, I don't want him to leave, but I think I'd be okay with that. And then we have Facundo Castro. Look, hundred percent, hundred percent of the wage. Don't care about regular starter. Just want somebody to take Facundo and his wage off my team. That's all I want. It's all I need, really. Deep down, that's all I need is no more Facundo Castro. Five hundred thirty-five a year is the line, Yaku. All right, these guys are asking for way more than that, anyways. But it's good to know. Uh, all right, William. Blackpool's coming for William True Kong as well. The offers continue to stack up from teams all around the world. Oh, Girona's in. We have no chance of getting him if Girona's in the pile. Like, no shot. Oh, we got an offer from Sal for Salvareski. After 25 matches played... No, I don't want to pay his wage right now, dude. Uh, the whole point of this is to get him off my team and then not have to pay his wage and then build a team of players that want to be here. I'm delighted to welcome these players. Are, are you kidding me? Look at the two guys we just signed. Saudi international, Abdul Rahman Garib. I mean, it's great. We have no doubt of the quality he possesses. Um, yeah, Garib, great player. Uh, that's why we signed him. We'll live up to this. How do you expect the squad to respond to the signing of Garib? Lifts everybody's mood. What's his best position? Are you even going to ask me about Olivier and Sham? Uh, yeah, we have people that speak Arabic that works. Football's a universal language. Do you think you have too many players in central midfield? Dude, Garib is playing wing. We have no wingers. <laughs> Do you agree this signing is something of a coup? Yes. It's a magnificent capture for the club. No questions about Cham. Maybe that was not a press conference for Olivier and Cham. I feel like it should have been. All right, Jakob Berg. Turn me down. Oh, he just agreed. Oh, uh, yeah. He turned me down, which works anyways. Match as high as Erner. So that bumped him up 7000 a year, which is not a problem. Arner Torvitterson signing. And Kian Vossen is leaving as he was going to get upset if we didn't accept it. And he is headed for 600000 to the Serbian League as we continue to stack up money to reload this team. Oh, my goodness. Arner Torvitterson already speaks Dutch. I love these guys. All right, the transfers keep going through. We got a decent little transfer budget. We've got a very healthy overall club balance. Our payroll is getting absolutely knifed, and then we're bringing in a couple of star players to help balance that out. Please, somebody wants Facundo Castro. I can smell it. The Boy Kemper deal is going to take us to another level, though. He's got $3.3 million out. And Clint Lehman's, there's plenty of interested teams in Clint Lehman's that have decent money. Um, uh, Tino Kaufman. Okay. Larry Coyote, so Patrick Grail, the Austrian midfielder. Yeah, we just we don't have a good feel for this. Bjorn Ingels, that's a good center back. He's 31. I think he was asking for a pretty significant amount of money, but he's okay being part of a rotation, which is good. Nurio, the left back, is from Angola, but does he have... He is Portuguese, so we don't have to worry about the other stuff. He is good. This guy's good. 
Uh, also doesn't like big matches. But that would set us uh, a left back. Literally the only position we don't need players is left back. We have two. We literally have two. Oh, but he plays center back. Oh, but he can play center back as like a, a sub guy. So this guy could be our starter. Yeah. Okay. Where's Nurio? Let's go back to Nurio. There's also Rizhnatovich, who's nowhere near the level of Nurio. Alexander Dombrayev, we thought was going to be that level. Ronaldo Matarita, the Costa Rican, but he is not EU. So hopefully with Nurio, because he's got that Portuguese going on, we're going to be able to go low. Oh, yeah, I would love that. I mean, come on, I would love that. I give you a 40% salary raise. I don't think you're going to want that, but I don't want to go too high just in case you do. Oh, my goodness. Finally, a bargain deal. Finally, Nurio, a tremendous left back, and the depth on the back line's coming through. Yes, yes, yes. Ruben Providence, you have French? You don't. You were born in France, dude. Surely, surely he, he has French on his side. Surely Ru, uh, Ruben Providence, he was born in France. Ruben Providence has French on his side. How about this? Regular starter next year. That's fine. Next year, the entire club will be different. Yeah, okay, we can go low to get Ruben Providence in. Top division salary raise 35%. Um, minimum fee release clause. If we get relegated is zero. Domestic clubs in a higher division. I have no idea what you think your value would be. But let's try like four million on that. Oh, Ruben Providence. Oh, Ruben Providence. You have quite the opinion of your own ability, don't you? Okay, minimum fee release clause to domestic clubs in a higher division. I'd be willing to sell him for 1.7, 1.8 million. Don't want to go too crazy. Non-promotion release clause is also going to be at 1.8 million. Uh, we want to, yeah, at about 500,000 uh, hitting on the wage budget for Ruben Providence. That's fine. 550,000 I can make work. But now, Ruben Providence, dual-sided winger. Depth piece. Not depth piece. I mean, he'll play plenty, but he's a good player. Uh, Daniel Sinani, ooh, also solid from Luxembourg. Yeah, let me say, uh, never break the chain. Carlos Salcedo, oh, you're a little. He's good. He, the problem is, he's a good player. Hmm. 48 caps for Mexico. This dudes he's been around. He's been playing at a high level in the Mexican League, which is a tough league. Nah, this dude puts a tackle in for sure. I'm not there on him. Lobambo Masanda is a no. Sacedo, Ronald Matarita. Abdullah Radif, we uh, we don't have any updates on Abdullah Radif. Abdurrahman Alhamdan, we have a com we have complete knowledge of. It's extremely one-footed, which is an issue. And I I don't think Abdullah Alhamdan is actually the guy. Matthias DeWolf. Does he want a lot of money? Also, is he like a fully Cuban? No, he was born in Belgium. Oh, brilliant. Okay, cool. No adaptation issues at all. We give him 142,000 a year, and we were, were we got the Cuban star from their World Cup run, from their near World Cup run. 
as I, I should say. Mads Mickelson from the Faroe Islands, the clock speaker. Uh, no, City Sar, ball winning midfielder, good size. Nah. I don't see it, City. Sorry. Collins Fi. It's just getting a little slow. He always had weirdly bad decisions, but he's getting a little slow. Larry Kionde, no. Okay. Vladimir Mamushasvili. Nah, there's too many holes in this game. And Elijah Just, the Kiwi, New Zealand's number 10, or one of them. He's just not good enough. Nah, uh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, 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 whatever, dude. <laughs> Stan, thank you so much for the prime. JP, thank you so much for the prime. I appreciate you. Uh, 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 uh. All right, Jess, see you later. <laughs> Marwan Sebar, this guy has nothing but his ability to play defense. So I, I think we're going to we're going to cut our losses there. Keep going with the sales. Does the fact these guys don't like big matches, is it a problem? Yes, it is a problem. Uh, but the most important pressing thing we need to do is get talented players onto our team as fast as we can. And that's um, that's what we're doing. Ahmed Yasser Ryan of the Egyptian na uh, national team. Ardu Aris. Uh, all right, doesn't want to talk again after the breakdown and talks. Belendi Adrizi. We'll offer you the trial again. Now that you maybe maybe you got a little more desperate. They do do that. They get a little more desperate, and then all of a sudden that door is open. Tabo Nadada. Never thought you were that great. He's pretty weak footed too. Ahmed Yasser Rayon. Would you like to come trial with us? We're just building a team out of free players. <laughs> we are just building a team out of free players. This Jesse Don guy. How much money do you want? No, I'm not giving you important players. Sorry, Jesse. Just tarnishing my relationship with South African agents all over the place. William Truce Decong signing with us would be one of the most surprising. I would be stunned if he signed with us. If William, like, come on. That being said, let's make, you know, let's make a dream happen, right? Adrizi said no. Why? Well, just don't like you. Anybody tell you that? That I just don't like you at all? Come on, Clint. Where's the interest, Clint? Bro, we need to we need to be patient. We need to be patient because this Clint Lehman's guy is apparently really good. I'm gonna transfer list him for five. He's happy with an offer up to five million, and he currently really wants to leave. So that's cool. Also, our our offer out stuff is broken. Now it's supposed to be at 100. percent Why does it not start at 100? percent Use the intermediary. Uh, it's not time yet. We'll figure out a deal. Uh, I really like using the intermediary on guys that are on zero that we just can't move. Oh, this guy's a beast. I was thinking he's a beast. He's definitely a beast. Plays a lot like we would have played with Inyaki Williams at the World Cup, like we were playing with Inyaki Williams at the World Cup. Oh, Ignatovich, there we go. There we go. Uh, you only have to give him regular starter. Just take his wage off the books this year. That's totally fine. Go ahead, Eagles. He's all yours. No, 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 no. Oh, yes. That's huge. This offer sucks. That's 1.3 million laid out. 27-year-old center back boy Kemper for 3.3 million. 
I uh, I'm sorry you made it clear that you know it was uh it's time to move. So time to move, time to bring in a new era at the club. That's what we're doing. Whole bunch transfer budget. Can toss that right into the wage budget to make sure we always have comfortable room there. Plenty of transfer budget left. Finances are completely secure. Can you believe that? Can you believe that we have secured the future of Nach Breda? We are in a much more positive position than we were in not long ago, which is actually going to send me, since we haven't really been able to scout that long, to the transfer list. Just to see if there's any low-hanging fruit there, people that we know about that are transfer listed that would make the team better. Uh, better. Juan David Mosqueda, he'd be interested in us? I don't believe that for a second. Who's the bid from? Holstein Kiel in the Bundesliga? Well, we're not going to, let's not waste our time then. <laughs> let's not waste our time. Aliu Federa, holy yes. This guy plays full tilt too. Determination, aggression. This is the type of, when you, after you get relegated, you need this type of mentality in the team. 2.3 is a lot, though. Alone wouldn't hurt. 40% of his, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 40% of his wage in regular starter playing time? Don't let him cook. Don't let him get hot. Do not let me get hot. Augustine Lagos. Wow, this guy can do everything. I'm kind of addicted to this guy. This guy can play anywhere you want. Center back, right back, all the way up to center midfield. No problem at all. Like a ball winner. We fired up the loan machine. Now we're looking at Augustine Lagos. Are they reluctant to do a loan? Well, you're ridiculous. Luis Almeida. All right, we need to scout... These guys. Oh, so we, we don't know whether they're good or not. So he's available. Luis Almeida is available for friggin' $200,000, which feels nuts to me. Ezekiel Gonzalez. So he's at Lincoln City. I did not expect to see him at Lincoln City. Not Conrad Mikalik. No way they're going to accept these trials. But like, if they do, though, then I look like a genius. You know what I'm saying? It's the shadow. It's just the shadow. Don't let me cook. I feel like I'm cooking. Ooh, somebody accepted. Oh, that was the loan. Oh, Almeido. Oh, shit. That's literally the one that I wanted the most. All the ones that were rejected, their scouting is still in progress. People are saying no to Facundo Castro, but two people said yes, and that's the important thing. Two people said yes to paying his entire wage and giving him regular starter playing time, and that's what we need. His contract runs out at the end of the year. That's all we care about. Luis Almeida's here. Okay. Okay, fine. Actually, can we hire an intermediary? So the, or at least checking is not a bad idea. Yeah, okay. Because you can check, and then they'll be like, Oh, yeah, this is probably how much I think I can get for the player. Almeida's good. Abdul Friesenmeyer is good. I love the name Abdul Friesenmeyer also. That's just a super cool name. Now let's get True Steekong right before this Eindhoven match to kick off the season. Let's get True Steekong right before the match. That would be the ultimate. Now I'm feeling confident. Now I'm feeling like we've had some good deals. Guess what, Jonas? 
You're my number one center back. I feel good about making that promise. Did it. Did it. Did it. Did it. Did it. Did it. All right, I keep offering out Clint Lehman's at the agreed upon value of $5 million. But apparently that's something that he would expect to get paid for him, which is amazing. Like, that would be so cool. Ignatovich, Facundo Castro loans, beautiful. We're just dumping more wage from guys that we do not think have a future at the club or don't want to be here. Castro's in that camp. Actually, that's not true. I just, <laughs> I made that up. I, I actually just don't want him to be here because he's a 5'7 target man. It's a 5'7 target man. Didn't know they made those. Preston make offer for Ime Youngba. Yeah, sure. Timo Kaufman kind of need players, and he's cheap, so no. What's the injury? Really? Bart Van Dahlen broke his ribs the day before them. Are you serious with me right now? I don't have a bench. You took one of the few bench players I have and cracked his ribs. Maybe his hold-up play is fire. Yeah, he actually has a lot of strength at uh at five seven. But he, you know, I, I he's one hundred eighty pounds, man. Come on, he's one hundred eighty pounds. It's not reasonable. No, we have players in the U19 squad. We just don't want to have them on the bench, you know? Like, if you had a million dollars, if you just randomly said, I'll give you a million dollars, I'd be like, yeah, but otherwise, no. Oh, uh, cool. More TV money. That works for me. Oh, yeah, Gilles Johannes. I want you to want you to leave. Also, you're not the only one. I uh, teen truced or whatever his name is. Somebody want to pick up that whole wage? We do not need this guy. Don't care what the playing time is. Do you please want to do that? Sweet. We just got him right before the match. Matthias DeWolf is in. I work him as like a Carl Arrow. I don't really find him to be a playmaker, but he can do it. So I'll work him as a center mid. No, a center mid on support. Just work his overall game. That's fine. Matthias DeWolf, 24 year old Cuban international who got them to the World Cup playoff. Yeah, no hesitation. Whatever, dude. Whatever. Can I up this at all? Or really just they will always reject, right? They're always just gonna be like, no. Right, this is annoying. Okay, you guys all offered 550. All right. Somebody's gonna offer 650. All right. All of you guys want him. You're clearly keeping tabs on him. Somebody's offering 650. Chad, are you ready for our first match? There's only one song to play. There's only one song to play. Where is it? Our first match with Nog. Do we have 15 subs for league matches? Are you kidding me? Wait, trialists can play? What is this league? What is this league? There's no registration. You just play whoever. (laughs) 
Ingles, you're my backup center back. Oh, he can't play. Okay. There we go. That cleaned it up. Do, 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 do. Hey, you don't want to play? You don't want to be a part of this team? Then you can get out of here, all right? Then you can get out of here. Castro, you're gone. We've got enough guys in the U team. We'll be able to survive without you, okay? Youth movement is here. Mustafa Rashid. I want it painted neck. Wait. Wait, sorry. I'm going to save the song. Hey, hold on. Shh, shh, shh. Defend the box near post. We, I realized we weren't training this the whole time. The prompt didn't come up in my inbox. That's my excuse. Um, stay high in Swinger. It didn't come up in my inbox. And then we'll play our song. All right, attack. We're going to create... No, oops. Uh, remove this routine. Yes, new routine. Create new routine. Far post in Swinger routine. And then we want a new routine that is in swinger short. Uh, this one, we want four guys in the creator location. Here, we want one of you. We want you there. And then we want you there. Box threat. Okay. Like I was saying, I wanted painted knack. <sighs> okay. This is the worst our team is ever going to be. So if we do well now... Then we're going to do well later. We have no idea what the level of Eindhoven is. They finished 13th in the league last year. Preseason, we are projected fourth. Let's get it. We're the favorites. Now let's stick to the plan. I have faith in you. You guys don't believe me yet, but we are going to be great. But we are going to be great. <sighs> FC Eindhoven against Nock. Our first match leading a club in Europe with a team just relegated from the era de Vizy trying to battle our way back up. 38 match season in the Dutch second division. An opportunity where Nock was willing to invest. We sold valuable players. We built up a, a comfortable financial situation. And now we've put together a team to do the job. I hate that Ignatovic is on the field so much. This is our fourth year as a coach with no badges or playing experience. We won 10 trophies in three years in South Africa, built up quite the reputation for ourselves, and we're able to land not a major European club, but a club that has, you know, with a, it, it's a little bit of a fixer upper, but it has potential. It's a club that expects to be in the era de Vizy, which is a great opportunity to build our career. Burmeester. Looking for Garib. Oh, that's our ball. 
And Sham, Burmeester, Rivera, nice ball. Garib from the national team of Saudi Arabia. Rivera. Ignatovic, Bregu. Okay. Am I on full match? Yep, 100%. Dude, it's always after a penalty shootout somewhere. I'm definitely on full match. Thank you for seeing that early. I would have sat here for a while. JPEG, Stanton, thank you so much for the primes. Blues Machine, thank you for the four months. I appreciate you being a part of the Hammers. Ooh, that looked good. Who was that on that header? Rivera, nice. Brian Rivera, who will leave if we get a, an offer of a certain amount of money. We're okay right now. Garib going short. Olivier and Cham. Garib. Garib. Olivier was there. Bell. Bell. Goal! It was never in doubt, chat. We were always going to be... Oh, we were always going to be great. Fortunately, it looks like we're playing a team that's projected bottom half of the league right now. Bad keeping. Takes a bit of a deflection, but Bell hits the ball well enough. The Jamaican left back, whose job is in danger, whose job is under threat. Raven Sword, thank you for the three months. Good luck with Knock. Thank you. Hopefully, we can get the team up uh, pretty quick. We've had a lot of fun putting the team together today. Rivera, Rivera to Burmeester, Burmeester, Frignatovic to Garib, Garib! I'm liking Garib so far, he's lively. Go, Johnny, go, go. All right, on the attacking set pieces, I don't want you to come short. I want you to box threat. I want to play it short, but when we play it short, I want to play it short like to the top of the box so that we can just have a shot from there. That does seem to be a pretty effective way to get a decent look in this game. So I want to do that. Do it less often though. Wish I could make another routine. I'd love to make one where we did play it short that was also less often just to see how that worked over the course of a season. Loving our ability to hold the ball right now. Absolute 75% possession, completely dominant performance on us with the ball. That's match control right there. And knock this away. Good Burmeester. No shot. Literally no shot. Bezot's letting that go. Our captain and goalkeeper who chose to stay after the relegation. We have a lot of respect for those guys, and he's about to make this save. Didn't even need it. What are my New Year's Eve plans? Family and I are going on a little vacation. So basically, no streams next week. And then after that, I'm back in New York. But the, uh, yeah, very good first half performance. Let's keep it up in the second half. We're going on. We, so basically, my family is, if, you, if you've noticed this, if you follow the stream for a few years, we usually go on a, it's like the only time that my two brothers and myself and my parents kind of can all, like, get off. Uh, work. You know, normally I've got Adler locked in the editor basement with all the other editors, so it's, you know, we let him out of the editor basement. Um, dang it, Garib. And the only time the whole family is basically able to go on vacation. So we always tend to go on vacation for like a week around New Year's. Um, so that's what I'm doing for New Year's Eve. It's going to be nice. Oh my god! He was worth the money now. Abdul Rahman Garib, welcome to the Netherlands. What a goal by Abdul Rahman Garib. In his debut, Brondiel is nowhere near it. Joe, they give you the tier one. Oh, what a strike from Abdul Rahman Garib. He's a player. He's a real player. The Saudi international. This is an arc team that's they've made. They've done a lot of transfer business. They've brought in the new manager from South Africa. 
I just put in the wrong battery. That goal was so good. Oh, Garib just gave the ball away. But it's hard to stay mad at him with a goal like that. Choi, good tackle from Bell. We're fine. <sighs> Literally just put the wrong battery in. Okay. Please tell me that this is the right battery. I think it is. So this guy beat Argentina at the World Cup's got to be worth his salt. Exactly. Abdulrahman Garib. Olivier Acham hasn't really gotten involved yet. That's okay. We're up two goals at home. Rivera. Oh, Paternina. It's the first time I've seen my striker actually touch the ball. He's not very good. Paternina. Bless him. He does his best. All right, let's go to our bench, which is almost exclusively youth players. Thomas Van Zeep, Ronald De Geest. Evert Linthorst, who's actually like a player. Um, we, we, we can totally make changes in the midfield. Evert Linthorst, Matthias De Wolf. Uh, I'm going to go with Matthias De Wolf and Evert Linthorst. Just one of the few changes we can make where guys actually, you know, like improve the team. Uh, who's it? 6.5 on the left wing. Well, then we could go with Iksan Bagos. Do, 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 my way. Bring our wing backs back a little bit. Bring in Iksan Bagos, the youngster to play on the left wing. The youth movement at knock. A bench listed of almost entirely youth players. Yeah, we weren't. We were dominant in terms of possession. We really asserted our style of play. We did not create a ton of goal scoring opportunities. It was individual brilliance from our left back, Bell, and then Abdurrahman Garib. That was short lived. For Matthias DeWolf, Olivier Cham, you go drop back in Leon Crumintown. Crumintown. You are coming in and attacking midfield because, of course, the guy we just signed just got hurt. <laughs> Oh, all right. Let me get about me. Hey, oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Come on, guys. It's been a very laid back game, honestly. There just hasn't been a lot to it. And Lindhorst is a little slow, and then some pretty appalling marking here. I'm going to put that on Ignatovic because I hate him, and I'm really excited that he's not going to be on my team by next week. What we could do is... No, I don't want to put Van Zeep in there, but we do have uh, this guy. We could slide... No, Mari Bell's exhausted. Could do this. Amari Bell goes in. Vernerson gets Ignatovich off because I just hate Ignatovich. <laughs> and then Civic just, you know, two fullbacks on defend that are able to kind of sit there and make plays. I think we need a wing back and defend just something. So we stay in an actual tactic. That can give us a few minutes. Slide the whole back line over one. It's all right. Good tracking back by the youngster. All right. Um, yeah, they got everybody. They've got everybody. Oh, Ignatovich. My goodness. Here I was talking all this smack. Actually, decent play. Sub. Hey, get the sub in. Dude, get the change in. Are you serious? <laughs> Oh, 
goodness. Thank goodness he made that save, man. Thank goodness. All right, since we're apparently not getting a lot of opportunities to make changes, let's just go ahead and shuck that all the way up now. Um, turn off the counter press, keep the counter on so we can throw a punch, and yeah, we're good. All right, Wernerson's in. Ignanovic is off. So the goalkeeper's up. Bell ooh, did enough. Tied him up. That's fine. All right, guys, come on. I know we're, we're coming off a relegation season where we were not very good. Huge turnover in the squad trying to build the team back better. But we're okay. We've got numbers in there to be able to defend this. What an unbelievably terrible foul. What an awful foul that was. Well, that sucks. I was undeserved and very painful. Um, all right, we're going to go with that. And the city. <laughs> this is bro so many changes don't work are you are you twitter right now dude sometimes that just happens i mean obviously we'll look at that and, and try and figure out how we could uh you know how we could have done that better but you know maybe maybe not get stuck in in that particular situation but like you can't have confirmation bias. Uh, you, you can't have confirmation bias with that sort of uh, that sort of a play. You can't. That wasn't like a tactical breakdown. He was off. Nah, that's not it. It's a draw. It's a brutal two-two draw. Our striker, our striker is bad. Yeah, our striker is bad. I have sympathize uh, with you guys. That was tough. That was a tough game. Hmm. How long is Wolf out? It's three to four weeks. The hamstring. Well, that sucks. So we need a right, we, we need a right back. We haven't settled right backs yet. All right, uh, Malani Ibrahim Mbai. Okay, I'll do that. Do Ibrahim Mbai. Just a sound right back and do all the normal fullback stuff. Can play on the other side. Suspended for the next match if you sign him, which is hilarious, actually. Is he? Does he have any nationality? And uh, no. Dang. Well, I think it's time to find out. That line does exist. It's 468000 per year. And that is what we would like to offer Ibrahim and buy is 468,000 a year and he is happy with that and I am happy with that and we're going to go ahead and make that offer and get Ibrahim in buy in even though he won't be able to play in the next match after he signs unfortunately this guy are we are we learning he still is not good I don't know why they're convinced he is actually incredible ah We just go ahead and sign that guy. Uh, Radif, we still... Oh, there he is. Okay. Oh, he hates big matches, which we already knew about. Ryan does not. I, I, I don't like having that on a striker. You need somebody to put the ball in the back of the net. 
Rayon is a, a madman who flies all over the place. So he is just Egyptian. Uh, let's go with the regular star. Okay, well, important player. I mean, goodness. That's why. That's why you wanted to have that conversation. I want to keep this under a million total value. If we can do that, I'll be happy. Under a million total value. Oh, dude, the song came on naturally. No way. Uh, we only need, we, we want to save that for getting fired up for matches. We don't, you know, we don't want it to just come on randomly like that. Come on now. Relegation release clause, non-promotion release clause, zero dollars. I'm willing to give you zero dollars. No, we're not trying to steal you from another club here. We just need to get him a deal that he is, looks at and goes, yeah, that's great. We do not want to go over 696 because we have like two match highest earner clauses there. Domestic clubs in a higher division. Uh, 3.5 million. Do you have a team of the year bonus? I'm going to put that at 105,000. We have a top goal score bonus. I'm going to put that at 105,000. We also need an assist bonus, and we're going to go ahead and get an international cap bonus in there. We're just 7.5. Oh, yeah, he's like, hell yeah, dude. That makes complete sense. I'm down. 968,000 per year value on the contract to get Ahmed Yasser Rayan into the team. 28-year-old Egyptian international. Good deal. All right, rarity of the right backs. Left backs are settled. We're going to need another center back. There are available options from the guys that we've looked at. We're going to need another winger. There's Enrico Hernandez, who I do not like. Um, How's Noel Suma coming along? Noel Suma. He's okay. Ingles is definitely better. So Bjorn, unathletic, but timely. Very comfortable with the ball as well. I'm a fan of old Bjorn. He only wants a one-year contract. Uh, one-year extension. Uh, okay. It's basically a two-year contract, but it lowers the value of his wage demand significantly. Okay. Come on, man. Thank you, Bjorn. Thank you, Bjorn Ingles. That's another center back. Boom. Check. We're making moves. <laughs> The only, okay, yeah, Kiwi, that's interesting. So you're saying if I switch my language to UK English, which is just English, it doesn't say UK. Wow, you guys are just owning that now? Like you're called England or something? What, this is ridiculous. Sorry, I know it's, it's the United Kingdom of Britain and Northern Ireland. What, am I uneducated? So if I put if I switch the game language, then I go to rules. Oh, dude, it is there. That's wild. They just remove it. They're like, this is too complex for the American. The American mind cannot comprehend this. It is too complex. It's true. It's Great Britain and Northern Ireland. You're right. I was making a joke and I accidentally said it wrong. I, uh, oh, yep. He finally read it. Yeah, sorry. You probably buzzed. I've been super locked in on the team right now. Also, yeah, we just, we haven't done a good job of seeing out matches recently. Um, we, but although we have failed on both accounts with Ghana, we tried to stay aggressive and maintain control of the match. That obviously worked super well for us. Uh, with with Orlando Pirates particularly because that was such an athletic, aggressive team. With this team, we were more possession-based, so I wanted to come back a little bit. Um, should have taken Get Stuck In off. That's really what gave them their second goal. Um, so that sucked, but we'll learn. And like uh, like we we're becoming aware of, I think our team is going to get a lot better, obviously, as the season progresses. Um, we're just going to add more talent. Adam Greel. Andrea Rajnatovic, Larry, your left wing. Ruben Providence is already joining. Enrico Hernandez. Daniel Sinani, you're the guy I wanted to look at. I think you're a pretty decent player, Daniel. You're versatile. You're willing to be a squad player. You want a little bit too much money. 
But who doesn't, you know, in this economy, right? You know, you know this economy. Uh, relegation release clause. And how about this? Non-promotion release clause? Million dollars. He's like, hell yeah, dude. 366000 total wage impact from Daniel Sinani. The team is coming together. Alexander Dimbaev. Wow, he ended up not being nearly as good as we thought. Noel, Noel Suma. Larry. Uh, Mr. Larry Kiyote and Aljaz Kassar. He's got the injury, but he's also, and this is important, not very good. So we're going to go ahead and remove him from the trial. Larry Kiyote. Uh, we'll finish the trial. Okay, this is nice. Reda El, Meli uh, Reda El Meliani. These guys we want to finish because they might end up being cheap, deeper backup options. Aaron Ramsey. He's so unathletic. Sorry, I, I can't do it. Aaron Ramsey is, is simply too unathletic. Rayon Burberry, he's fine. He doesn't move particularly well, but he is actually a really talented ball controlling, like attacking midfielder. Great technique, really good understanding of the game. Griffin Yao, not fine though, is he? Andre Alsanati, uh, Al the Iraqi international. No, probably not. Pedro Mantelos. Oh. Well, aren't you a bucket of fun at 34 years old? What do you want, Pedro? Do you want, like, I'm a superstar or no? You don't want I'm a superstar? That's pretty sweet. You'll take impacts. Oh. My. He wants nothing. He wants absolutely nothing. He literally wants no money. Okay, that's fine. I, I just wanted to see if I could remove it. Ma Ma Mantelos wants nothing in an important impact sub status. Okay. <laughs> All right. Cool. Ja how's Jetro doing? He I don't know why they think he's so bad. He's not that bad. Jetro Willems is not that bad. He just can't do anything else, and we already have enough left backs, so I'm going to drop him, but he's not, he's not bad. Okay. All right. It's coming along. It's coming along. We have, you know, we've got a lot of offers out for various uh, various players that would be very helpful. Honestly, we'd have, we'd have actual depth and talent for the Maastricht match. Uh, oh, great. Oh, great. Other offers for Ahmed Yasser El Rayon. No, we already have. No. It'd be unsettled if I don't let him talk to ADO Den Hog. Well, then just as long as they do that, I don't care. Well, they didn't do that, so I, I'm not going to do it. Salvareski, please, Salvareski, please. Just checking the players that are being scouted by my recruitment focuses at the moment. Might find something fruitful there. Bad boy loan move? Yeah, he's not interested in a move yet. We were messing around with uh, the bad boy move earlier. Ross Sykes from Lech Poznan. Oh, he's a, he's a good center back. His adaptability is terrible, which is hilarious because he's an Englishman that's playing in freaking Poland, but... Patrick Soko. Toby Reen. Okay, 2.8 million, but he is a beast. 
Adaptability is bad. Aliyu Federa is already on the way in. Fees and Myers already on trial. I'm looking for midfielders that like actually make the team better. Reen's a baller though. Oh, and he's either footed. He's completely either footed. Come on. Is that a release clause? Oh, they got relegated. Oh, they're in the dry Liga. Oh my goodness. How about a loan offer? They don't want him to leave on loan. Well, would you be interested in anything other than the the $2.8 million requirement that you seem to have slapped on this? No? Not interested in anything else? The Dritta, the, the, the Dritta, the Dritta Bundesliga? I I signed him with Feyenoord and he was a baller. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm feeling that uh, he's a baller vibe. I am desperate to get Clint Lehman's off the books. Here's the deal. I'll do four million, even though I think we get we might be able to get five million eventually. I want to know that we'll get the money. I want to know that we'll get the money before I do the negotiation. Oh, I freaking love this. Feel like I'm playing with Michael Jordan on the Chicago Bulls every time this comes on. <sighs> do I still own the Czech guy, Janicek? Uh no. Abdullah Alhamdan. Abdullah Alhamdan, the pressing forward. Does he have an agent or do we do we know? Do you want to be a fringe player? Do you want to be an impact sub? Oh, yo. Well, I guess we have to offer up the 467, so no. Um, Abdullah Alhamdan is going to stay on the default list. Daniel Sanani already has a transfer offer on him. So does Mantelas. Enrico Hernandez is going to stay on the default list. Ibrahim mbai has got an offer. Ruben Providence has an offer. Nurio has an offer. Andrea Rijnatovic, decent. Who knows? We end up with some weird sale. We could need him. Saicedo, I can't convince myself to do it because he's already getting worse physically. This guy is also here. And Jacques Sembe got it. Oh. Sign Petros Mantelos. He's got a lot of technical, like, quality. Petros Mantelos has a lot of technical ability. I love that. Stick him in a 4-2-3-1 right in the hinge position in attacking midfield. Make him like a playmaker or something. All right, guys. But I I'm sweating like crazy. We've done a ton of stuff today. I'm going to save it up. We've got our new job. We've got our new job. We've got a new job. It's not the job we expected, but we have a new job. Uh, that's it. Don't worry. I'll be back tomorrow. We'll be back tomorrow. It's at 11 a.m., not 9 a.m. So we'll be back tomorrow at 11. But we have now got a secure financial situation. We've got a lot of talent coming into the team, and we're going to have what I believe is going to be a really good team together. Uh, yeah, we've been on for almost five hours. Um, we were getting on at 9 a.m. Uh, the last two days, but we're getting on at 11 a.m. New York time, 4 p.m. London time tomorrow. But yeah, it, it is hot in this room, too. It is hot in this room. Uh, we're going to raid somebody, so stick around. Let's go make somebody's day. Um, so we can figure out who we want to raid. Daddy, we go, oh, yeah. All right, English. Um, okay, what are you? Ah, oh, no. All right, this is awesome. This dude just enjoys different types of games. He says, finishing the season, there may be some medieval world conquering. Looks like you guys will be in for a good time if you want to hang around. Just started his streaming. Uh... Streaming journey. You ready?
All right, do we have a copy pasta chat? What are we doing? What are we doing? Do we have a copy pasta or not? What do we think? There, there, we, there we go. Okay, we got our copy pasta. Enjoy the raid. I will see you guys tomorrow. It'll be our last stream for a week. I hope you're able to make it uh, and go enjoy the ball as well. It's on, but at least uh, at least be a part of the raid so we can we can make this guy's day. All right, see ya. Have a good one. Love you guys. Thank you so much for the subs. I really appreciate it. Um, it, it means the world and allows us to do what we do, pay the editors and everything. And uh, it it's touching, actually. Bye, guys. All right, word of the day. Word of the day is ubiquitous. I love this word. U-B-I-Q-U-I-T-O-U-S, ubiquitous, is a synonym of widespread and describes things that are actually or seemingly seen or encountered everywhere. Though they were once a status symbol reserved only for those with considerable means, smartphones are now a ubiquitous technology. It's a sick word. See you at the end of another stream for another word of the day.